Shalom and welcome in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ to Somali Christian TV. We are your favorite Somali ex-Muslims spreading Christianity and exposing the deception of Islam. Islam. Yes. Yes. If you are new to us, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and join the Somali Christian TV family and hit the bell so you will get the notification from Somali Christian TV. It is so exciting day today, and uh, this um, uh, topic will be an amazing topic. I am Shino, my wife Shania, and uh, who? Uh, and who? You, so you don't know. I'm so happy that uh, so Somali <laughs> Prophet is here with us. Oh, Somali so Prophet. So Somali Ooh. Prophet is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. It is good to be back. Yes. Um, I've been making videos, and I've been the cameraman behind the scenes, but it's been many months since I've been on a live stream. So this is going to be a blessed, blessed, amazing live stream sit back relax and enjoy but today we have an amazing topic for you black people should not be muslim no black people should not be muslim at all yeah. we will show you how allah and muhammad both hated black people yeah. and blackness in general black people should leave islam and follow jesus because christianity doesn't discriminate and we are all the same we are all one in christ jesus amen amen, amen. Yes. amen. guys invite all your friends we're so excited today today will be amazing amazing day because we have as well somali prophet we miss him as well to be with us and uh doing the live stream with us here he was with us all the time i was like, since I the mean, beginning to the front and speaking with you guys so please invite all your friends your muslim friends Asian friends somali friends if you know invite them all <laughs> take a glass of water and uh, let us start with prayer you know yeah. yes uh, father we thank you and come before you in the name of jesus lord we glorify you and we worship you and we lift your name on high lord we ask you that you bless this live stream bring many people that they will hear your news and your good news and your salvation lord we ask you that you save all muslims lord that they will be yours as well lord we glorify you and thank you for this amazing time we have here bless everyone and uh, yeah people who will join us later on bless everyone in jesus mighty name we pray amen in jesus <coughs> mighty name so today naomi she's uh, off yes <laughs> free but we have Somali, Somali prophets here yes. with us. Somali, Somali prophets, prophets yes. here. Yeah, yeah. Let us do this together. Yes. Yes, definitely. I just wanted to say welcome into the chat, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. It yes. is so good to see you all again. Um, there's been some familiar names. There's some new names. I want to say hi to Phil210, ACA. Thank you very much for your warm welcome. Chloe, it's good to see you again. Just Janice, Mick, Barbara Krause, Harriel Johnson. Hello, everybody. There's a it's really good energy going in the chat today. And let's, let's try and keep that. Let's try and keep that going. So we've got a comment that says, hey, good to hear this macho voice. Not like I wasn't enjoying Naomi's. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. We really appreciate that. Khalas Ibn Footnotes, very much. Thank you very much. But yes, howdy, howdy to you too as well. DHC21 at Yahoo. Welcome in, everybody. Get some water, get some tea. We've got an amazing topic for you today. Yeah, let us barbecue this. <laughs> let us do this because as, a, as you can see us, we are black people. Yes. And one one time we used to be Muslim, but we did not know how Allah and Muhammad hate us so much. We did not know that. Even our people, Somalia, they brainwash. To the end, they they believe they are not even African. They believe they are Arab, Arab Quraysh or something like that. The prophets uh, tried. Yeah. You know, they brainwash us. <clears throat> but now, when we find the truth, Jesus said, "When you know the truth." The truth will set you free. Yeah. As Jesus freed us from all the, this, we want as well our people, our Somali people, to be free from Islam because they're not supposed to be Muslim when they are black, especially. Yes. Yeah. No one's supposed to be. Muslim. Yes, Shania and Somali prophet. You know, uh, another day I was uh, watching a short video about, uh, uh, you know, uh, a sheikh, Somali famous sheikh, who was uh, preaching in, in, in the mosque. Yeah. And he was saying, you know, guys who are sitting here, uh, you will be made white, he said. When you go to Jannah, you will not be like who you are and where, you know, the way you are now because you are but, black. But he started, he started, said no black people will yeah, go to Yeah, he started, heaven. no black people to will Jannah. go to, to heaven, he said. And, and everyone was saying, you know, uh, what is happening here? Yes. And he said, no worries, no worries. Allah will change your color to a white color. And he don't stop there. He said, you will be made white like even Arabs. Like he said, Arabis. like Arabs. You see, Arab people uh, will inherit uh, the kingdom of God yeah. no matter what yeah. and how. Yeah, okay. go on. 
I just wanted to say thank you so much for the super chat, SLH and Scott Hughes. There is a comment here from Qalas Ibn Footnote that says, I'm black, so I need to pull out my notebook. Now, if you're anything like me when you were younger learning the Quran, um, you, don't, you don't speak Arabic, but you just recite the Quran. So you don't know what you're saying. You don't yeah. know yeah. what this book is even saying about you. Yeah. And you're just reciting it. So we're going to expose that. We're going to barbecue it, as Shania likes to say. Yes. It's going to be a great, great session. Yeah. yeah. So let us say thank you for this uh, super chat, like you said uh, in the beginning. But is there messages with, with them? Is Scott and, uh, um, yes. So SLH says, them. Jesus Christ is Lord 100%. Amen. 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 100%. Thank you. So um, and then Scott Hughes says, I can't believe that he called me a raisin head. <laughs> what is he, sa he said that. Yes. And that is what we were, the, the reason we are here to expose, you know, something. Yeah, always, and you know, there is a hidden words, you know, in, in Islam, and yeah. that needs to be taken out to the light, and people will know that they've been called like that way, or they've been treated like that way. And many, many people, you know, subconsciously, they just believe everything they, everything which was said about them, but deep dive, they will understand, and many people will uh, will leave Islam. Um, just a few minutes ago, we we were having a so my live stream, stream yeah. and the callers. Somali, Somali is called us and they were saying what you're saying is right. Yeah. I was contemplating for a long yeah. time why I was called black yeah. in Islam and why I have to be destined to go to hell why, when, because of my color and all that kind. You know, people, uh, as uh, um, Somali prophet. prophet just said, mm. we were just, uh, you know, reading the Quran by, by heart and we did not understand and... Uh, the sheikhs, when they interpret stuff, they, they hid, you know, the, yeah. uh, the main core of, uh, of the interpretation. Yeah. And they will just put in front of you what they want you to hear. Yeah. So that was how we grew up in Islam. Yes. I just want to read a comment from a person in the chat called Wan. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming you're a Muslim, but uh, welcome here. He says, all the information told here is unchallenged. There is no person to refute them because they don't invite any prominent Muslim speakers. This channel lies. Now, let me tell you why this is a problem. Not a problem for us, but specifically a problem for you. What we do on this channel is we read through the Hadith, we read through the Quran, yeah. and all we are doing is exposing, putting it out there, what your prophet said, yeah. did, and thought. Yeah. So if you think we lie when we have proof and we have these... Um, these hadith, we always cite these hadith. If we lie and Quran. you're calling the Quran and the hadith lies, you're calling your own prophet yeah. a, liar. a liar. You're not you're not insulting us by saying this channel lies. Read it yourself. And if you still don't like it, maybe Islam isn't for you, my brother yeah. or sister. Right. Also, he's also welcome to come and join with us on the live stream if you want it. If he's the sheikh or the scholar and, and tell us. Just read the hadith. We will give you the hadith, the sources of the Quran, and let us study together. If you think he, you know better than us, come yeah. in and join yeah. with us on the live stream. Exactly. We are, we are happy to invite you. Exactly. And, and, and you said wrong. You know, past two, three days, a, a live streams here. We all the time had the Muslim come into our live streams, and they're always welcome. As long as you stick into the topic, not going outside the topic. Because the Muslims, when they come here, when they go to the Christian channels, they always go and they want to change the topic. You know, I learned the best person. Who is that? CB. Christian, Christian Prince. Prince. We love him so much. I have even his book here called uh, the, the Deception of Allah. of Allah. So he knows the Muslims, how they deceive. And he never give chance to change the topic. Even if you know the answer, you can never, because if you give answer to this question, another question, another, another question will come. Another one will come. Yeah. And by the time you know, you will see two hours later, you did not talk about the topic. They always want to, to come you off from your topic. That's why they are also deceiver, you know. Their Allah is a deceiver. The Quran is a deceiver. The Prophet is a deceiver. And the Muslims here, when they come here, with, they come with deception. They will come to deceive you to change your topic. And they will say, oh, huh, you cannot answer my question. Why you cannot answer my question? Any Muslim we challenge. All the Muslims are welcome here on our live stream. We put on the link here, you are welcome. But you have to stay the topic. Why you Allah hates us black? Why he's saying all the people who are black will go to hell, hell. So 
uh, before we start this, I just want to start to one um, the, from the Bible first. Let us read what the Bible said first, because we are Christian. We are not in the dark. We are with the light now, with, with God, with Jesus. So let us read. So yeah. we're going to start off on a good note. We're going to yeah. read the Holy Bible. Yeah. Um, and I want you guys to really take in this message and meditate on it if you need to. Yeah. But this is very, very important. This is how Christianity, this is a Christian view on things. Yeah. Galatians 3.28. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 And Romans 2.11. Romans 2.11 says, for God does not show favoritism. Amazing. Can you see that? God doesn't show favoritism. He doesn't care if you are white, black, whatever, whichever color you, you are. Because God, when he created us, he said everything is good. Everything yes. he called good. He did not call place in head. He did not say all the black will go there, all the white will go there. And I love this and I hate that. No, he did not say that. He loved all people because he is the one who created the real God I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Allah, who has another message here. Yes, but we will go to the message later. Yes, you know, before, before we move on, you know, this is the good message. This is the good news. Yeah. Good yeah. news doesn't cost anything. It does cost only to believe. Yeah. When you believe Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will see people, you know, equal in yeah. front of anything yeah and god in, in god's eye he called everyone you know you are my my favor everyone is a, his favor mm. he doesn't show any uh, favoritism yeah so if you are white or black or this or that or see or so you are all one in christ jesus yeah. that's unity Hallelujah. among all people so in, in, in Christianity, what you know, you know, um, uh, we we will talk about how people will go to Jannah, how people will uh, you know enter there and this and here, and we're talking about white people going there and black people going there, in Islam, but yeah, in, in Islam, Islam mean, but it's not in Christianity. Yeah, in Christianity, it is by gift of God. Yeah, and all equal. All equal. That yeah. gift, if you accept the gift of God, you are you know, entitled to go to, to, to heaven. Yeah. And no matter your color, no matter your age, no matter your, you know, um, uh, ethnicity, no matter, just believe. And the belief is in your mouth. Yeah. And it is close to your mouth and it's in your heart. If Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you are saved. Yeah. The heaven is yours. And Jesus said, those who believe in me, they will be with me forever. Yeah. So there's no favoritism. no favoritism. You don't do that. You don't do this. You will go yeah. this. You will go that. No. Just believe. And believe yeah. doesn't cost you anything. You, you just say yeah. the word of, uh, you know, a belief. You need so to repent, you, though. You have, you to, have, you have to, to repent and believe Jesus Christ yeah. as your Lord and exactly. Savior. And then that's done. Mm -hmm. And that's for everyone. And, Hallelujah. you know, if we read John 3, 16, that is the core of the message, message of Christianity. Yeah. John, um, um, uh, so my prophet, if you read John 3, 16, people will understand. You know the, how God is so good to everyone. Yes, yeah. exactly. The, uh, uh, John three sixteen says, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life." You see, you know, God. yeah, Amen. God this Lord. side oh. and the human being this side. What combines them? Believe. Hallelujah. God so loved the world. God did not love the only white people. He did not love the only black people. He did not love this age or that age or this, uh, uh, you know. But he loved the world. Yeah. And he gave the best gift of ever. Hallelujah. Everyone, everyone, all mankind who believes in him, believe, will never perish, but will have everlasting life. Yes. Absolutely. So that is Christianity. And that's the good message. And that's why we sit here and call to our people, come to Jesus. Yes. You will be saved. Come no matter who God. you are, no matter your color, no matter your age, you will be saved if you Amen. believe Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Amen. As Yasir Qadi said, your sheikh said the standard narratives has holes, has holes in it. Let us see the fake God, Allah, what he said in the, in the hadith. How one he created Adam and, and, and Eve. Okay. And let's yeah, the creation of human beings. Yes, now now he created see. people and... Uh, yeah. Predestined already, the, yeah, yeah, the, the, the two people. Yeah. Okay, this is Hadith al Tirmidhi, number 38. Yeah. Narrated Abu Dada, Allah's messenger, said, Allah created Adam when he had to create him, and he struck his right shoulder, and there emitted from it white offspring, as if they were white ants. 
He struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black offspring as if there were charcoal. He then said to those who had been emitted from the right shoulder, for paradise and I do not mind. Then he said to those who had been emitted from the left shoulder, they are for hell and I do not mind. So clearly <laughs> you can see yes. that he created white and black, white for paradise, black for hell. Yeah. Can you see how yeah. discrimination and horrible it is the God, the fake God of Islam? Why, why he made the black people just to go to hell? What kind of God is that? Who, who had, a, and a, if you have a children now, because for, for Sheena and I, we have two kids, and we love both the same. We love Naomi, Igual, yeah. we love Somali Prophet, both of them, they are our kids, and we love them equally, Igual, yeah. and so, so much with them. How can I say I love one person and not love the other one? How can you say you, Allah, want to just make the black people go to hell, and I don't mind? What kind of God is no, that? No, that's not God, and this is not divine word. This is a word of human being, the word yeah. of someone who wanted superiority for his own people. Yeah. That's why I call it. So he feels or he thinks that he is white. Yeah. He's not though. Arabs are not white. A European is called white. So he wanted to get, you know, this message of we are white people and we go to, to heaven. Yes. yes. I just want to read Safraz Hussein's comments. Show me verse where it says all black people are going to hell. Oh. We literally just read that. And it said, for par you know, the ones from the right shoulder, the white offspring, for paradise and I do not mind. Then he said to those who had been admitted from the left shoulder, the black offspring of Adam, they are for hell. And I do not mind. That is literally here, as you can see. Yeah. Yes. Al Tirmidhi, number 38. Yeah. So well, that's, before, that's the, the hadith, but also he wanted the Quran. Yeah, so before we move on to the Quran, Safras, stay yes. there. But yes. you have to believe what we read was your hadith. Your hadith. And hadith is, you know, the word of Muhammad. This word is preceded from Muhammad. Yeah. He said so. So you, you're not, uh, you don't believe what Muhammad said? You're not comfortable with this hadith? So you have a problem there. Because... Or uh, the majority of your ulama, they said anyone who denies one hadith, he denies the whole message. The Quran, you see, because Surah Najm, verses uh, three or four, it says, وَمَا يَنْتِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَى إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيُ يُحَى. He does not, he, Muhammad, does not speak by his own, by his own. but he speaks what he, what it's revealed. As a revelation to him. So whatever he says, it is, it is, it is like, it is like, it is if equal. Say, if it he is, say to his wife, I love you, honey. It is, it is a revelation, revelation. for Allah. If he say he hates someone, yeah. it's a revelation for Allah. Yeah. And uh, Jamur al-Ulama, again, they say, every hadith is wahi. Every hadith is revealed to him. Wow. He cannot just say words, but that's why they are kept recorded and uh, you have to believe it. Yeah. So, Safras, you have to believe this hadith and it is authentic hadith yes. and this equivalent as a Quran. Yeah. So you have to believe it. But we will bring you the a verse, verse Quran. If you want to now Quran. stay there with us. Yeah. And even if you want to join, you can yeah, join us. You but you have to it. stick to the topic and talk about yeah. what you have. Uh, but you are not. I believe you are not. Um, uh, you are not classified as a white. Are you white, Safras? I don't it think. And uh, Pakistanis are, are, are not white. white. I don't know. But anyways. Muhammad says, anyone who is white, he was already predestined to go to, to heaven. So white people, no matter what they believe, they will, they will end up in hell. And in, in, in heaven, in I think. Heaven. In Allah heaven. Said. Allah said so. Mm. So Because Allah loves white people. He's because, so because Muhammad was white. And we will go and read how white he was. How white yes. was his sheen. How white yeah, before, is... Before, before we, we go, go there, let's, uh, let's read the, uh, the verse. And before we give even the verse, there is the hadith, the top. It says anyone who called the prophet black has to be killed. The first one, Toba, yes. yes. Yeah, the top, yeah, let's yeah. let's read that. Okay, it is um it says Not the this Quran. is the um Ibn Musa the al Mushari top. Qadiyah, the top. page three seven that four one. five. This one. Yeah. To the top in the beginning. That, that one, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the middle, the black one. Yeah, you can see. The left shoulder one. No, no, the before that. Before the left shoulder. Yeah, uh, let me let me let me read. Oh, it yeah. says Ahmed uh, yes, that Ibn one, yeah. Abi Suleiman, oh, the, yes. the companion of Sanun said, anyone who says that the Prophet was black should be killed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is he is criminal? Someone said the Prophet was kind. black has to be has to die, has to be killed because they said he's a black. 
So yeah. what are you going to say now, Safras? No, Safras, another, another day I watched another video as well, and, and it was a Somali sheikh. Before you read, you have to read the Quran because they have to understand where that comes from, the yeah, sheikh okay. coming from. That sheikh, all right. Okay, he was reading this Quran, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, and uh, Safras went to the verse of the Quran, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, let's read um, uh, Surah 3, Surah um, uh, Al-Imran 106. So, yeah. let, let, let me read in Arabic so Safran will understand and Allah no, 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 will understand. No. Safran doesn't understand, but, but it's if, Allah's if, language. Allah but will if, understand. if Safran, if you don't understand, you don't speak Arabic. When you pray, you know, Salatul Isha or Salatul Subah, do you read in uh, Urdu language? No. No. Or English. You, or English, no. You have to say it in Arabic, isn't it? Yeah. So I believe you have memorized some of uh, some of some version of uh, of, uh, of 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 Quran. So this is one of it. But anyway, yeah. Yawma and that, that is yeah, yeah. Uh, prophet, and that says on English. the day some faces will turn white and some faces will turn black. As for those whose faces turn black, to them it will be said, did you disbelieve after your belief? Then taste the punishment for what you used to reject. Can you see here, all the black faces, black, black faces are going to hell, white faces are going to uh, have Jannah. That's what he said. So what the Sheikh said when he was explaining this. Verse. No, uh, it wasn't this one. It was, uh, yeah. Uh, I think it was that. Yeah, when, when, Muhammad, when he was uh, preaching and uh, he was angry that people calling Muhammad black. Oh. And he said, anyone who calls Muhammad black, he must be killed. And wow. he is black. And, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the congregation are black. Yeah. So they are not. All Somali. All Somali, yeah. They're not, they're not, they're not seeing the, the color. Yeah. But your color is, you know, um, uh, the color that God gave you. Yeah. So you have to be happy and uh, you know, accept your color. But when someone says your color is bad color, and you cannot call your color to another person's color, you will be killed. Yeah. Do you believe that? So this is degrading. This is degrading who you are and your color. And then you are, this guy is promoting that the you know, white people are per, uh, you know, more and uh, superior than you. You cannot call that prophet white if you call him no i mean black if you call him black you will be killed you will be killed yeah what's your crime now here just uh, saying call he him. is just a uh, calling he is a black person mm. you will be killed yeah so that that's just insane so now we can put on the link on the, on the in the live stream if anyone wants to come if you are muslim you are welcome if you're christian anyone who has the question or comment but has to be on the topic yes come out from the topic we don't have a, uh, you cannot stay yeah. on, on, on the live stream. Please exactly. Stay on the topic, focus on the topic. How can you, how can we follow Allah who calling everyone and all the black people will go to hell? How any black people will be Muslim? Yeah. How any black people will, will be Muslim and following Allah who promising to them to go to hellfire? What kind of God is that? So, uh, no, it's, it's not right. And not that right. cannot be God. God is, uh, you know, the one who does not show favoritism. Yeah. So he is the one who loves everyone equal. And he even said, you know, I give rain to those who are righteous and unrighteous. Yeah. And I give th this sunshine to those who believe in me and don't believe in me. Yeah. So he is, you know, that kind of a God. He is a righteous God and he loves his people. But yeah. Muhammad said, Muhammad said, you know, according to him, you know, black people are like, uh, if, if you want to see a Satan, yeah, just to look at uh, who? Naptal. Let, let, let's read yes. this, uh, yes. uh, this hadith yes. and you will be shocked so if you are a black person and as Muslim as well. Wow. Yes, exactly. Ishaq 243. Allah's apostle said, whoever wants to see Satan should look at Naptal. He was a sturdy black man with long flowing hair and flamed eyes and dark ruddy cheeks. Wow. Maybe you are Muslim now imagine. and you are a black person. Yeah. And imagine if you were standing in front of Muhammad, you would be the one who was called Satan. Yeah. Because you are Shaitan. Yeah. If you want to see Shaitan, yeah. you just look at Naptal. Yeah. Like look at this uh, Umar or Farah, though, who are uh, black people. Of so Fatima. that, of Fatima. Fatima. Yeah, that is, you know, how the Prophet prescribed and the prophet does not speak by his own it was revealed from above 
as yeah. they say, yeah. it is revealed by, by, by Allah. Yeah. So this is not right. This is degrading and this is insult to all black Muslims. Yes. So you shouldn't be there. Because this is insult. This is insult. This is insult to you. Yeah. You should not stay there and uh, you know worship this this Allah who you know who sees like that way, who yeah. sees you like a Satan. Yeah. Listen, um, uh, the Satan was promised already that he will go to hell. When you see Satan, you remind you are reminded already hell. Yeah. So this shows that hell is a shait shaitan. He's yeah. Satan. He and he will follow he's, he will follow the shaitan yeah. because a shaitan will go to hell yeah. so that is why he's uh, calling you and that is uh, who you are following and that is your prophet and he is not a prophet at all but we will tell you we will tell you we've been lied for a long time yeah. but god revealed himself to us and he took us from the dark to his to his glorious light yeah. and that's why we have to shine this light to the people who are in the dark so they will see the light of christ yeah. jesus said i am the light of this world Amen. anyone who believes in me will not go into the dark but will have the light of this world so the light what is the light the light is the promise of god the light is his word jesus christ yeah. anyone who believes in him will be you know it will be will be the light as well because he said you are the light of this world amen amen, amen. yeah go on. i just wanted to read um another comment from one who claims yes. that they are not religious, but then they are saying foolishness like this. Quran is God's words. Hadith is man's words. Oh. You are saying that as if you are coming from a Muslim position and you believe that the Quran is God's words. Well, if you believe that, that's up to you. But you can't then say you're not religious if you believe the Quran is God's word. So God's either word. you are lying to us or you're just confused. Yeah. But regardless, sit back, relax. Get your notepad out and listen carefully Just and to stick to the topic. Write what we're telling you. Yeah. Write the hadith that we're yeah. doing. Research this yourself and you will see the truth. Yeah. Amen. And Jesus said, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. And Jesus is the way, the life, the truth. No man comes to the Father except through him. How can we follow fake God who hates black people? We are so sorry for our people. Yes. My mom, my brothers, my sisters, my all our family, they're all Somali, they, Somali people, Somali community. Can you believe? They're all black people. They're African. Praise and hair, Al Muhammad called. Mm -hmm. He said, if you, even you, 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 you boss, leader, yeah. leader yes. if he's race and hair, if you can read that, uh, uh, Somali prophet, you can, you can prepare that. Yes. But you know what they did with our people? They brainwashed and they said, you are not African. Can you believe that? Yeah. When Islam come to our country. Yeah. Yes. So on that topic, I wanted to read Sahih Bukhari. Yes. 1, 11, 664. Yes. The Prophet said to Abu Dar, listen and obey your chief. Even, even, as if this is the worst, lowest possible thing. Yeah, even. Yeah. even if he is an Ethiopian with a head like a raisin. With a head like and a raisin. That's even, and even, and he's talking to a, 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 a group. That group is our group because we are... Close to Ethiopians, Ethiopia, and we are Somalia, same are offspring. Same. Yeah, you see, we are black people, and we are kind of uh, um, uh, brothers and sisters with Ethiopians. Yeah. So even if we we look the same, yeah. The same so people, that that's insult to uh, insult to anyone, insult to any us. black person. Yeah. So why so, any any Muslim should stay as uh, as a Muslim? Yeah. That is insult to you so, to be a. Uh, I'm so now, person. because we know the truth, you know, when we left Islam, we find out all this because it was hidden from us, you know. Yeah, exactly. So many African and so many black people, they are blindly following Islam mm. without knowing the, uh, the language of Allah, knowing Arabic language, or without in, uh, have uh, any knowledge about how Allah hates, or Muhammad hates, or Islam hates black people, you know. Even uh, there was a Somali, uh, in, uh, Somali young woman, one time in uh, she was in uh, TikTok and she become viral on her uh, TikTok because she was talking to her mom and she said, "Mom, are we African first or we are we well, Muslim, Muslim first or oh. we black people yeah. first? And the mother said, "No, we are Muslim first." And she said, "No, Muslim you can become or you can live, but uh, black we are black people." Yeah, that's so the ethnicity. We were born as black we, people. Yeah. Yeah, but because the mother doesn't believe we are black. You know yeah. how stupid is that? I'm so sorry for my people. Seriously, when I remember, it just makes me my heart to just cry. You know, when we see 
other African person, <laughs> the Somal people, they will point to their finger and they will say, say African. oh, African man are walking there. They think they are European. What do they think they are? <laughs> they, they are how Arabs. Can, how can they call Kenyan, Ethiopian, Uganda, other, other Africa, other parts of Africa? When they see someone from there, they will say, oh, or if you marry someone from that country, they will say, oh, she married African man. Oh, his African man moved next door to us. They see themselves, they are like a white. They are like Arabs. I like know, they are Arabs. Arabs. Yeah, that's why the they Arabs, believe. They believe they are white people. Yeah. I am sorry to say that. I'm not talking about the Arab Christians. We have so many Arab Christians here, and we love them so much. Amen. Even the even Arab Muslims, we love them so much. But you know, when the Somalis been the Muslim countries, Arab countries, they had the harassment. They had the abuse. They been uh, called names. Being called Himar or Aswad, and that means black donkey you know when i was little i used to hear that and yeah. thinking what kind of why why they have to call black donkey we are not even african we are Quraishi. we are like, <laughs> you know we've been thinking that because we've been brainwashed yeah just know? deceiving yourself so you this, can stay in the religion happily yeah so but now we find out where the arab muslim coming from because their allah and their prophet hate black people that's why he had the black slaves that's why he called everything bad black. Yeah, every, every black thing white. white. Every black thing is to say, you know, uh, related to, you know, um, uh, sin and uh, yeah. curse and uh, shaitan, Satan yeah. and all that kind. Yeah. So th this is a uh, yeah, bad thing. Yeah. I just wanted to um, read, read a comment. Yeah. Um, yes. So <laughs> it was actually really funny. Um, I was trying yes. to hold back my okay. laughter. So one said, did I disrespect any rules in this channel? Why does the moderator keep censoring me every time I ask questions? Look, if you're being timed out or anything like that, it's just because you need to stay on topic. That's as yeah. simple as that. Yes. Earlier, you were like referencing the Bible and stuff. That's not yeah. what we're talking about right now. We're talking about how um, Islam is against black people. So yeah. if you got timed out, that's your own problem. Yeah. And then Phil, after that, absolute legend Phil, yeah. said, we love Phil. if you've got a problem with that, take it up with Allah. <laughs> <laughs> but then, and then one comes back again and I says, I'm not even Muslim. Why are you trying to mock anyway? Whoa. Jesus taught you that. If you're not a Muslim, why are you trying your hardest to defend the Quran? I mean, it's, it's fine. It's fine to like... Um, you know, engage in like a discussion or anything like that. But earlier, we caught you saying Quran is God's word. If you don't, if you're not Muslim, why would you say it's God's word? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you yeah, actually Muslim believe that? Here, yeah. It's just, do you genuinely believe that? Yeah, yeah. And also, guys, you can join with us if you want to join with us because this is ridiculous. You know, that Muhammad himself, all the hadith, he just pointing finger. All the black people, if you want to see Satan, you know, even the Kaaba itself, they said it was it white. was white, white, or white become, stone, if it's yeah. black because of the uh, the, sin the sin of human. So every bad thing it's associ thing, associated with black it is blackness, black. yeah. So we, as a black people, we oppose white, that and we reject that and yes. we condemn that. Condemning that, we're not accepting that. We don't that. want our people be looked down. We don't want our people to follow fake religion. At the end of the day, Allah is saying He will take them all to hellfire. You know, because they just because they are black. You know, there is no respect. If you call the prophet was black, you will be killed. What does that mean? So, if you are black, you don't count to anything. Your yeah, life yeah, is yeah. nothing yeah, you are... for Allah and for His prophet. Yes. Muhammad. And uh, yeah, it, it is. It is very sad. And if you go even deep dive, if you go more, you go down. You will be like more. You will be shocked. You know. Everything is like a, one after one is like a worse than the, the one before, you know? It, it, is, it is so horrible. Even dog, even black dogs. He said the black dog must be killed, yeah? Must because be of their color, because of their um, uh, blackness. Okay, yes. I just yeah, wanted yeah. to double check. Um, Sister Christophile said, uh, Shania sounds far away. Um, oh, okay. Can you just double check, see if you Is you're... my microphone? Yes, it's on it? now. Okay. Um, oh, my microphone was on. Uh, the on. whole time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We apologize, I've been just everybody. Shouting okay. And how does this sound? Me. How does this sound? If you... how, how I'm doing now? Is it, if this I've is any better, all, please all put day. one I'm... in the chat if this oh, is better for us. I didn't know. Sorry about that. How am I doing now? Okay. Wait, I think I'm, I'm loud now. I, I like can good. hear me from the top of his. 
<laughs> office where he's sitting with the, on the top of the eight angels holding him. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. that's <laughs> another topic, another topic, another time. Yes. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. So we uh, we want to uh, educate, especially black people, especially Somali people, uh, any black people, not to follow Islam. You you know, and if if still if, still, if you are Muslim, we will call you to come out because. because Allah doesn't have a respect for you because he even even animals are not safe. Dog, just because they are black, they're not safe. Yeah. So that, that comes from Sahih Muslim 3813. Yeah. And this says, <clears throat> Abu Zubair heard Jabir Abdullah saying, Allah's messenger ordered us to kill dogs. And yeah. we carried out this order so much so that we also killed the dog roaming with a woman from the desert. Then Allah's apostle forbade their killing. He said, it is your duty to kill the jet black dog, jet black dog. having two spots on the eyes, for it is a devil, but jet only the jet black. Wow. Jet black, jet black. Jet black. And that's a dog. And God created that dog mm. as a black dog. Yes. And when God and created it, said, it is beautiful. He called yeah. call all his creation. Yeah. What did he do? What did these dogs, what did this, Very all these dogs have uh, done? Nothing. Very sad. They've been created by, by God. Yeah. And they are there. You know, yeah. they are part of this nature. Yeah. And you have to chase them and kill them because they are get yeah. black. Yeah. And that's, that's just insane. That's inhuman. Yeah. 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 It's like, if you just think of like a dog, they're cute, they're friendly, yeah. you know, they're, they, they're just like nice, everything like that. Yeah. You but then dogs. this man, this man specifically said, oh, that animal, I don't like it. Kill it. Make sure it's only black though. If you but who it. created that black um, uh, dog? Allah. Allah so why, 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 he, why he has cre to, why to create it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's the same as, uh, you know, a black person. Why he has to create if he wants his to destiny to what is, them. you know, to be um, uh, taken to hell. Yeah. And he's making enemy to other people as well, or enmity that other people will hate because Allah hates them and you have to hate them as well. Yeah. That's why many of them been enslaved in Islamic way, in enslaved in Islamic time. Yeah. And uh, even those who were enslaved, they've been, you, they've been living in the worst situation of, uh, of a human being and, uh, can live in. Yeah. So that, that's so sad. So uh, if we read um, uh, Somali Prophet, if we read number uh, this hadith, Bukhari. Number uh, six. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that says. Number 137, yeah. Yes. The Prophet said. The Prophet yeah. said, let the Negro slave of Dinar perish. Yeah. And if he is pierced with a thorn, mm -hmm. let him not find anyone to take it out for him. Oh. If he, the black slave, asks for anything, it shall not be granted. And if he needs intercession to get into paradise, his intercession will be denied. This is the prophet oh they call goodness. this a merciful prophet. Merciful prophet. Do you see any mercy in this in this hadith? And, it's and he said, Bukhari. it is sahih, yeah, and it is revealed revealed to him. Yeah. <laughs> Had a wahi, had a revelation to him. <laughs> revelation to Revelation to Muhammad. And he said, there is no mercy oh, if he sad. asks, you know, um, uh, intercession. Yeah. Not given Don't to him. Give Denied. Mm. Oh, that, it is heartbroken. Yeah. Okay. Just a um, quick note from the chat again. We've yeah. got Ghost Boy over here saying, you guys are reaching with this one. If you think this is a reach, you must have the tiniest arms in the world, my friend. I apologize. Um, and then you also said before, you guys must live miserable lives. Stick to the topic. Or just, you know, we'll just throw you into the bin. We live <laughs> happy, happen. happy life because we left Islam and we are followers of Christ. And Amen. we want our people to leave Islam, especially black people, to leave Islam and to come to yes. Jesus Christ. And if we all you all. can say is an insult, yeah. then you've we already lost. You don't have anything properly to say. Just judgment insult day. the people. Yeah. But so we uh, welcome Judgment Day, Saf. Welcome to the stream. Sa Safra. Yeah. Yeah, you're all right, yeah. Yeah, we're all right. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay, Jump today is the, the day we are we want to save all the black people from Islam. What are you gonna do with that? What do you Mom what are you gonna say? How are you gonna defend? There'll be many black people in heaven. That's that's for sure. But Allah didn't say that, Muhammad didn't say that we read the hadith and the Quran. Well, you have, what you have Safras. You have more mercy than Allah and Muhammad. <laughs> Surprise. Because they, they were denied they were denied heaven and you are guaranteed them heaven. Yeah. So you, you mm. must have um, a better moral than uh, than Allah. You Allah and, uh, you, you Allah and, and your prophet. Yeah. What about the one that that was doing the 
Azan, Bilal. Yeah, he's yeah, been, go. He's going yeah. heaven. He's going to heaven. Who said? All right. Who uh, said? Uh, Safras, you are yeah. taking one example here. It was only one person. And he was a slave as well, isn't he? What no, happened no. to him when, when Muhammad died? What happened to him? Yeah, he, he's still he a slave. No, no, he wasn't a slave. Was he, was he freed? Oh, no, he no, no, did, no, What did, what did, what did, what did uh, Abu Bakr say to him? He was freed from slavery. He was freed from slavery. Simple. Where, no. where, where, uh, Safras, have, he, he, have he ever, have he ever given a wife, uh, a, a Quraysh wife or no. Arab wife? Not at all. To be honest, I don't know if he had a wife or anything. No, no. I don't know about Bakr's no. story. No. Uh, they, you know, uh, they were um, uh, uh, engaged in wars, a lot of wars, and they captured um, a lot of uh, slaves, a lot of women, but he never been given one. And he never given a wife. And even, you know, when he uh, looked for a wife, he, he was denied because he was a slave. He was black. And his duty was just to uh, cry out, you see call his, it, voice. his voice. Even, uh, and uh, it began with, uh, is this merciful? When everyone is asleep, you, Bilal, get you up, have to go get out. up and I'm call. Shout. What, what about the others? They just asleep. They, sleep. they, they enjoy their sleep. Mm. Yeah. Do, you, do you think this is uh, merciful? And Not this is, uh, you know, um, uh, respectful to him? Come on. He, we, we know how it was. And when you, you take one example, why don't you take, uh, there were three or four or five. When you say about Neptal, that Muhammad said, if you want to see a shaitan, look at Neptal. What, what do you think if you were Neptal standing in front of your prophet? What do you think? How do you feel? If your prophet say you yeah. uh, Safras, look Safras. If yeah, you want to Safras, say if you want to say, if you want to see Satan, look at Safras. Look at Safras that is face. how uh, um, Shaitan look like. How would you feel, uh, Safras? Yeah. Maybe you lot are calling out context. All these, all these, these are context. Is this no, 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 no? Just, oh. just, just as you know, um, uh, reflection and uh, you know, let's picture all this hadith. The hadith is authentic hadith, and it was revealed from Allah. Because it says clearly, it's it is revelation from Allah. And Allah said to Muhammad, say this. Okay, what do I say? Say that if someone wants to see Satan, yeah. look at Neptal. Yeah. That is how Satan looked like. Yeah. And, and we're picturing, black, now, yeah, black we're black picturing just now that scenario yeah. that you, Sephras, are in Neptal. How would you feel? Yeah. That's a simple question. Mm. Whoever wants to see... Uh, uh, I've got the hadiths here. I've got the hadith here. Okay, you got the hadith. What, but, what but kind if, of hadith if, are you if talking you, about? If you were in the position of <laughs> Neptal, how would you feel? Is that humanity? Would you see Muhammad as a you know, holy person? Would you see Muhammad as a respectful person? How would you relate to Muhammad at that time? Whoever wants to see Satan should look at Nabdal. He was a black man with yeah. long flowing hair, inflamed, yeah, yeah. inflamed eyes, and dark, ruddy yeah. cheeks. Allah mm -hmm. said, yeah. down concerning him to those who know Yeah. If a black man yeah. That's, that's a sad to read, isn't it? Uh, 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 <laughs> so sad. Reading that. Yeah, no, how, how really, really, really. It's, it's not laughter now, to be honest. Uh, that, that's uh, heartbroken. If you would be, I think it's because be, he's not black, he doesn't care about black yeah, people because yeah, yeah, you yeah, are no. not he's black. Really, That's he's why he's you're just like, laughing now yeah, because no, you are Pakistani, you are not black, but we no, are black. No, no, no. It hurts we our, feel, our, we our feel skin. How it is? Yeah, it, it is so sad calling someone Satan because he is black. What is the difference between black and white? Is that not the same God who created mm -hmm. all? What are you fake prophet calling uh, black people because he's Satan because he's black? How stupid is that? What kind of religion you following, brother? And you just laughing here because you are not black and you don't care about. Uh, Safras, I, I believe or I would wish that this hadith you just read will be a, a judgment to you, will be, you know, kind of a testimony to you that you will leave Islam. Because what you just read, it's not fair. It is horrible. It's not from God. It's not from, uh, it's not a revelation at all, but it's insult. Yeah. God cannot insult anyone. Anyone who insults other people and says this is from God, that person must be a liar. So, what do you say about this hadith you just read, you know, wholeheartedly, if you're honest person? I, I see that uh, you're not comfortable with reading it, but when you read, you were just a bit shaken, and I could understand that uh, there's something in your heart. Do you see there's a problem here in this hadith, um, uh, Safras, that shows this is not from God? 
and you have to do something about what you have read and you have to take a step into freedom you need to condemn live into living into leaving islam yeah you cannot condemn it but you have to leave islam because of this hadith because it's not, there's no righteousness in here no. there's no fairness in here no there, so you have to do something for us don't deny and don't don't delude yourself you have to see the truth and reality and you have to follow the truth the truth is the word of god and the word of god will free you from yeah. slavery right. of uh, this slavery yeah so yeah are you still there safran yeah 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 me, yeah, me, yeah, me, yeah, me, yeah, but no yeah. but the thing is i think yeah, he's shocked he's yeah, shocked no i'm not shocked there are there are some hadith i'm reading which say that black people are good and you know that you're quoting other things so it's no 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 you have to okay. no no you have to talk about the hadith you read now the one you read now explain you cannot explain you cannot cover up you cannot say different than you your prophet or your allah otherwise you will be better than them and you will be another another god another for the prophet, for yeah. or other prophet for 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 the for you people or whoever believe is same same with you you know we already read the hadith because he said if you want to see satan go and see Neptal because he's a black man no, he said about... even he even said kill the jack black and you do you do is to kill the dogs because they are black how horrible is that why you allah or your prophet hate so much black people and black <laughs> even the black color why he hate so much yeah. why he hate the black dogs come on safras explain black to us why why is well, if that? he hates them if he hates black? them why he has to create them yeah why he created if he hates so much no the uh, the black dogs they go that got the jeans in my head oh but dear that. oh you hear they had so, the jeans so, because that's what they yeah, used to tell this us is justification now so in this black man there is satan in him isn't it yeah that's what no, he's no. saying no <laughs> he said that the, the black, uh, black dogs have because the black dogs have jin in them so what about this um, Nepal? What does he have in Because in, he's in, in black. He's, he's black. Jinn. Everything Who black created this blackness? God created this blackness. So God did mistake when he made this person black and he hates them and he calls other people to hate them or to enslave them that they will be slaves for you that they will call prayer for you. And when you sleep he has to get up and, and and call the prayer. And when other people are getting, you know, rewards, I say, you know, more um, wives, he cannot get any, uh, any wife at all because he's black. He cannot marry a Quraysh woman. Would he, um, Bilal, yeah. Safras? Yeah. Uh... Could, he, could, he, could he marry a Quraysh woman, um, uh, Bilal, when he lived? No, he could not. They did not give any... any... He, did, he didn't get any slave either, even black. There is no, there is no proof that if he, if he had a wife or not, nobody knows if he uh, had but what, oh, this this is this is another insult yeah all other sahabis all their history is written why not his um, his history not written because he was just a slave just yeah just black isn't it yeah so let us, no give, one, another no so, so, let yeah. us give another hadith number five if you read uh, another black man yes yeah. Sahih muslim 5 2334 the prophet says the most hateful among the creation of allah is one black man among oh. them, Warij. One of his hands is like the teat of a goat or the nipple of the breast. Because of that, he's the most hateful person. <laughs> because of his color? Because of black man. Okay, so, um, do you read it man. by your own now, um, uh, Safras? It's a Sahih yeah. Muslim 5, 2, 3, 3, 4. Yeah. Read it aloud the, by yourself. The other hadith which, you, which you've just quoted, yeah, the other one yeah. that you quoted about, uh, it says that if you see Satan, you see uh, Nabal, what you said, yeah? Nepal, yeah. yeah. That was by Ibn Ishaq, and he, and that was a fabrication. Oh. Oh, fabrication. That is not even a hadith. That is not even a hadith to go. I'm just... Who is, number who seven. is, who number is seven, Ibn Ishaq? Who is Ibn Ishaq? Do you know Ibn Ishaq? He doesn't know Ibn Ishaq. No, but even even this this week, this is a weak narration. The same is it, not even your a, religion is a, a little uh, weakling. Wait, 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 your religion uh, is all together. Uh, it is weakling. Uh, um, uh, Safras, do you believe it yeah. is hadith or not? Uh, I'm reading here now. It says, as for the hadith, it says it, it has not been cited by any of the compilers Abu Dawood. Uh, uh, 
Bukhari, no one has been cited only by Ibn Ishaq in his book called so, Al Mamagazi. It was quoted from him okay. in the books. So they, they say that it is not even authentic. It was All not the authentic. Muslims, yeah. they say authentic. Uh, who not make his, okay, okay. Uh, Safras, who makes his hadith authentic? What's that? He says it, he says it was only written in his book. Okay. And what are the chain is not even anyway let us read right. what, what about let this one what, what about Sahih this muslim. one uh, yeah, that um uh, um uh, somal prophet just read Sahih Sahih muslim. Muslim. Sahih muslim five yeah. two three three four can you read that this is here what are you going to say and it's that? the same this is more more man and um, uh, insultful about uh, than the other one yeah the hateful most hateful among you most hateful most among you hateful mm. yeah it's, it's black one Black man is the most hateful. Oh, oh, yeah, that's oh. us. Oh, so Isn't hard. that insult to us and insult to um, all some um, Muslim, uh, black, black Muslims? It makes me sad. I want to cry now, you know, <laughs> just yeah. behalf of my nation. Exactly. My uh, people, black people, yeah. we are suffering under the hand of Islam. Yeah, Safras, so many, many you want to read that by yourself? That uh, yeah, you Yeah, people will hear. The most hateful among the creation of Allah is the black man amongst the quarriage one of his hand is like the teeth of a go of a nipple of the breast when Ali ibn Abu Talib said killed him he said search for his body they searched for him but they did not find it yeah that's so that's enough so <laughs> what, where, where we are focusing is you know among you know the hateful among the creation of Allah <laughs> is the black, man. the black one the black man among, among them. them, black man among them. Oh. So yeah. if they see a uh, Nabtal, he is the most hateful. If they see um, uh, uh, what was his name? And, and, uh, it is very sad situation. Yeah, um, Bilal, Bilal must be the black one. The black one is the black man is the most hateful person among them. How would you say that a Muslim akhul Muslim? How are they? Are they brothers? When Muhammad said, "Al Muslim akhul Muslim, a brother," and a Muslim is a brother to other Muslim. Are they brothers? When he says the most hateful person in you among you is the black man. Yeah. So oh, this dear, is, uh, this dear black people, please, if you're hearing this, if you know any any black Muslims, please give this live stream. <laughs> and we beg you, do yourself a favor, leave the cult. Because that cult it hates you so much. How can you stay cult who hates you so much? Because of your color, your color, the color of your, your skin. Hates you so much. Why? Uh, Why is that? Safras, Why anyone Safras, believe uh, that? I, I, I don't. I, I cannot recall the hadith now, but maybe some people will uh, will write it down. You, you know, and, uh, there, there was there, there were um uh, uh, one time in slavery time and slavery in Islam. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Continue. So, uh, yeah, well, welcome everyone. Um, yeah, welcome to Somali Christian TV, everybody. Yeah, Rahul and Scott. Yes, welcome. Yes, finish, yes. honey. What do you want to say? Um, you know, um, Muhammad had uh, one slave, an uh, Arab slave. And uh, the owner came after him and he said, This man is my slave. He, he, he told that he had um, uh, all the, uh, uh, you know, honesty with him and he said i will stay with you and i will fight for you and i will be you know uh, you know uh, you know with you and he said okay come with me and then uh, a man came after him and he said this man is my slave, my slave. and he was arab person, arab person. Yeah. yeah and then and then uh questions you just came here welcome but uh, thank you for muting your mic I just, I'm um, yeah. yes um so if you could just um switch off the stream or something like that or like put headphones in or something so you don't disrupt the uh yeah. the audio that would be fantastic thank yeah. you yeah. so uh, when this um, uh, man came and said this man is my slave and muhammad said oh was he his slave i didn't know that but muhammad said i will give you two black slaves that i can keep this one mm. he sold uh, two black slaves according to one exchange with the exchange one, with arab. one arab to but two, two black, black men. Uh, slaves yeah that's hadith and I, I will, I will uh, write it um, uh, later in uh, in the comment if I got time. Yeah. So do you do you see um, uh, the unfairness? I here? think Phil Horea will find. Yeah. Do you, do you do you see how black people were you know uh, treated? So black people they don't have any stay in Islam. Black people were not respected in Islam, 
and even after life they will be in hell all of them as we read you know the first hadith when allah created you know um, uh, adam he struck uh, a shoulder and he struck the other shoulder the the, the left one is the um, um, offspring of that were black and he said they will all end up in hell and i don't I don't care. I don't care. So don't let care. us see so, yeah. the others as well who come here. Welcome, uh, Brother Scott, uh, Ruben. Question. Yes. Yeah, can please, you me, uh, Judgment Day, Safras. Yeah, we can hear you. We can please hear you. wait. We have other guests as well. You speak so far. Let us hear from others as well. So, Brother Scott, do you want to add something before we give others to the mic? Yeah, I just wanted to ask, uh, Safras, who freed Bilal? Hey, good question. Nobody free Bilal. It was Bilal was Bilal free, but, I think he was. but he was free. Who, who freed uh, Bilal? Uh, surprise. I think he was one of the companions with it. Uh, Abu Bakr. No, he bought it A after huh? after Muhammad died. After Muhammad used surprise. Do you know that he took or or he used um, Bilal? After he used Bilal and did what he wanted to Bilal, he didn't even free him. It was Abu Bakr that freed him. Yes. Yeah. And then <laughs> it, here's the, the, the exploits that he did with Bilal. He went to a group of women and he said, whoever, uh, do you know that most of the women are going to hell? And the women were like, oh, why? And, and, and all this other stuff, because. They don't listen and all this other stuff. And then he had Bilal take all of the jury. So Bilal mm -hmm. participated in the crime with him. You know what I'm saying? He took all the yeah. jury and Muhammad basically enriched himself and still didn't free Bilal. So, Scott, before we continue, I just wanted to um, read these um, super chats. We got um, a super chat from you don't have to act religious to believe in God. And they said, Thank God bless you, you brothers. Shino, Shania, and Somali Prophet. Keep educating everybody. Set people free from their bondage that they come to know the living, loving Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. What a what an amazing, um, heartfelt comments. We really appreciate that. Thank here you at so Christine much. TV. Thank you. Thank you. And we also have a super stick from SC. Thank you very much for your support as well. God bless you. SC, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, yes. all of you. Uh, back to you, Scott. Yes. The floor is yours. No, so I, I just wanted to know why he didn't free Bilal. Because the one that I don't think yeah, that, that's the answer for you. Yeah, go on. Because the one that had the warning was Abu Bakr. Wait, say that again. I could, I could, didn't quite catch that. Because the one that had the warning to Reem was Abu Bakr. Anyway, there is hadith. Uh, I I don't have now in me, but there's hadith somewhere. I think brother and uh, uh, Phil Hure will find out. We will will put on the chat if he can find that. Yes. And the hadith it says, if you and uh, want to release me, please release me. Otherwise, if you want to sell me, uh, sell me. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can do that. And he was just selling. He was just going around to the Muslims. You know, they did not free him. They did not free him. Who is? That's what it says the no, hadith. No, no, no. Bilal. Bilal. No, no, Bilal. No, no, no. Bilal. That's the hadith. Safras. Don't say no, no, no. So uh, Bilal, do you have the hadith that? Um, uh, um, uh, uh, let me find out. That 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 Bilal was freed. Give us the hadith. By Bilal Muhammad. Be freed. No, when Muhammad That's died, he was still a slave. You can and, uh, Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr wanted to keep him, and he said, "If you want to keep me." Keep me as a slave, or yeah. if you want to free me, yeah. free me. This is the hadith. Thank yeah. you, Phil Huraya. Yeah, let's read them. Somali Prophet. Yes, the Phil Huraya. Uh, yes. Thank you so much for pasting that into the chat. It says, Bilal said to Abu Bakr, if you have brought, bought me for yourself, then yeah. keep me for yourself. Bought but me. if you have bought me for Allah's sake, then leave me for Allah's work. Can you see here? Oh, because yeah. he bought it. Yes. When Muhammad died, someone else was selling him yeah. to Abu Bakr. And Abu Bakr bought it in his own money. And that's what come from Bilal. So he will not free. And at he all. did not get free. He, he, so he was begging sell. now. He was begging he here. Yes. And saying, you know, yeah, no, how, how, like, Show you, us you, the hadith. They, you know, they can, sent him free. You, you can read the hadith here. And he was bleeding with him. If you bought me like that way, yes, keep me. If you want to, you know, for, for Allah's sake, you know, let, 
He was not free. You know, your prophet, even there's another hadith now I remember. It says and uh, there was a, a person, a Muslim person, who had three slaves. And he promised, he said, when I die, let them all three be free. And Muhammad heard that. And he was so mad, so angry. And he said, why, why he did that? He's not supposed to do that. And to the end, he said, okay, then one of you can be free. The other two, we have to sell them. They, they give it to someone oh, else. Yeah. Muhammad gives someone business, else. He business, said, do yeah. not send them free. It's not allowed. Muhammad did not want that. And he bought it. One slave, Arab slave, exchanged with two black, black slaves. Yeah. He gave the Arab uh, people two black slaves. Because they are equal, two black men are equal with one Arab. Can so, you believe that? That's exactly. what Muhammad believes. So we, we're talking about uh, how Allah and Islam hate black people. So let us stick to this um, uh, topic. Why Allah hates black people and why he has to yeah. create something he hates and the last hadith we read was the most hateful person is a black man what do you say about that safras and the other um, um guesses who are in the, in the yeah. chat uh just bear with us for a moment because uh safras is joined with three different tabs how i do not know look at this you having issues can you say something so i can remove the yeah just leave one okay. Like, yeah, that's yeah. fine. One, one yeah, is yeah, fine. Yeah. How, how can you come with three? Are you like your, your, your God, your Allah, best <laughs> deceiver? You want to deceive us? One of life is three. Other, behave, behave, Mr. The best deceiver. Now, Don't you deceive. know what, um, Safras? The truth, okay. Truthfully, yeah. though, we're kind of, we are struggling to hear you a little bit when you're talking. Your mic kind of gets a bit muffled. <laughs> Um, yeah. I don't know if you can maybe find like a different microphone or something like that so we can hear you better. Um, and it's not just us as well. Somebody in the stream has commented that. But well. Ruben, Ruben, who is that? Yes, Ruben, welcome. Ruben, welcome. Do you want to speak now, Ruben? Hi, hi. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you guys to give me this platform. So Thank um, you. You're, you're very much welcome. So I'm a Arab Christian. And my question to you is that if black people cannot be muslim then what's the perfect religion for black people because if you read the scriptures like all the abrahamic scriptures i mean black people are the israelites i mean so should i be really like should we follow jesus or should we be jewish i mean what's the path for black people okay okay we will, we will answer for you thank you so much first of all welcome we are not calling the black people to join from one religion to other religion. We're calling them to come all the religion out and to come to the real God, you know, the creator of heaven and earth. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believe in him, doesn't matter if you are black, if you are white, if, if you whatever color you have in your skin, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's what we call in. And we want all the black people to leave Islam and to come to the <laughs> real God. The yeah. real uh, uh, God. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think I would, I would like to add something. Sorry for interrupting. So I, Wait, I personally... Yes. You know so what to say, yeah. I, yeah, I, you I, I, it. yeah. yeah. In my experience, what I've seen is that black people, most of my, the black brothers who convert to Islam, the main reason is that acceptance because you know like having a black identity is really hard in these modern times and it's oh ruben, ruben 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 wait a minute wait a minute i know testimonies two yes. men yes. one white and one black america i have that testimony you know uh, the people even contact us and yeah. i hear that from their mouth yeah. two of them they become christian uh, muslim they they become a uh, muslim and one black and one uh, white, white. Yes. You know what they did? They what? said, we will welcome you. You will be our brothers. We will take you to Hajj. We will give you a wife. And they did with the, with the white man. The white man, they changed his name to Muhammad. They take to Mecca. They, they invite all the bla uh, places. They take all so many testimonies. They said they give it the wife. And they even said even up to four wives you can have ask anything you need and you know he was so busy because they were friends but later on he contacted his black friend and he said brother did you also get the a uh, free trip to hatch and do you get the wife do you get the money do you get anything and he said no nobody gave me anything you know and i will show you something even uh, uh, true 
And in the YouTube, even if you go YouTube, there's a guy who used to walk David Wood, David Wood and uh, what was that? David Wood and Sam Shimon, Jesus or Muhammad. He was a black man, yeah? He's a black man. He's a black man. Listen, he's a black man. He converted to Islam. His channel is so little. No one is even watching. If white person today or Asian person become Muslim today, tomorrow his channel will be millions, millions subscribing, you know? Hundreds of hundreds. How many he has a subject? Oh, uh, I think two, okay. 200, something like that, thousand, something like that. Within one day or one week, if you are white or if you're Asian, like that, and uh, Daoud, Daoud, yeah. his name, Daoud Kim, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Daoud Kim yeah. Yeah. he has now three millions. He used to be Christian, he used to share his channel, Christian worship songs, no one was watching. He had only 20 people, 10 people in his live stream, nothing. And later on, he said, I become Muslim. And when he said that, now he has 3 million. What do you do? Nothing. And the guy from Jesus and Muhammad, the black guy, no one even promoting, even Al Da'u Muhammad Hijab, they don't promote in their channel. His channel is so little, you know? <coughs> it yeah, is yeah, like yeah. the thing we have here, you know? No respect and nothing. If you are black, no respect. They don't respect you. Even us, my country, Somali people, they mm -hmm. call themselves a Somali uh, Muslim Sunni. When they go to Arab countries, mm -hmm. even they are Muslim together, they they being called black donkey. Imarul Aswad. So as a black person, you don't have respect yeah. in, in Islamic uh, world. Yeah. No. Robin, uh, let me let me add some uh, words in here. Please, um, please, you know, we, we just said um, uh, maybe these black people convert to Islam because of acceptance. So uh, you can look, yeah, you can look, you accepts. can look at that way, but there's no acceptance no. later on when they, you know, uh, change, you know, um, uh, to this group, and they will find the, the truth. They will come back, and I have seen, you know, statistic: those who um, convert to Islam, 75 percent revert back to their originality. And uh, let me say this now: we're not talking about religion, you know, we're talking about relationship. Yeah. In Christianity, you will have relationship with your creator. When you have that relationship, that will change your identity. Yeah. And your acceptance will be in him. When you accept that he is your heavenly father and you have relationship with him, yeah. your view of human and your view of the world will change. And you will get the right people siding with you, you know, and uh, to lift up and uh, to, to help you with, uh, with your faith. So we, we left Islam and we became followers of Christ. And we, you know, we be welcomed into um, uh, 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 into a church, and that church we uh, we stuck into that church until now. They become our family. Yeah. They become our friends. Accept. They become yeah accepted us. British the, ch uh, church. Yeah. yeah. So it, it depends Black how church. you see it. But the most thing is the relationship with your heavenly father. Yeah. Christianity is not a religion. We're not calling people come from out of religion and no. join another religion. No. We're calling them out of religion, but come to a relationship with your heavenly father who created you with your with his own image that he calls you my son and my daughter. Yeah. That's acceptance. Yeah. So that's and the church who accepted us and been with us now many, many years. Yeah, you know, well, and they're so loving and so kind, and they welcome us and love us and give us unconditional love. That, but when that, we were Muslim, we used to be called names, other Muslims, you know. That's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, so yeah that's what it is. By the, by the way, thank you for your, uh, yeah, your question. You, it was so relevant you. and it was needed. And and, you know, and, to, and now we find that. out where the where the where this um, harassment and hatred from the uh, other Muslims coming toward the black people. Because yeah. it's for their prophet and their Quran, you know, the hadith and the, the Quran. Sources we have the sources. here, because we have to use it so people will see the truth. Yeah. And that truth will set them free, Amen. that they will come to the light, and that will have relationship with their heavenly father. Yeah. Create them with his own That's why Jesus image. said, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Yes. We so want our people to be free from Islam, because Islam is not good for anyone, especially black people. Certainly, yeah. and I, I would just like to add uh, one last point. Uh, so, yeah. like okay. in in Arab countries, if you notice the statistics, or even if you have friends, you can ask him. Like Christians are being, uh, I could say, wiped out. 
out of yeah. uh, Arab countries. But at, at the yeah. same time, in in Christian now uh, now you can say in the in the United States that is a Christian country. Like we could mm -hmm. debate that, but more or less, you can see that more and more like Muslims or like people of other religions and faiths are being accepted. But at the same time, in the Middle East. Christians are being wiped out out of their own country. So, like Egypt, yeah. Egypt was yeah. mainly Christian. Now, what, yeah. what's happening in Egypt right now? What's happening in Turkey? I mean, yeah. uh, like if, if we could just like you know focus more on these stuff because even my Christian friends, like bro, they don't understand. They don't even know this stuff. So I feel that we should uh, increase the level of awareness of this particular in this particular. Topic. Yeah, thank you. You are right. Um, thank you, thank you. You want to comment, Brother Scott? Yeah, I was just gonna say, um, you know, perfect, you know, you are breaking, brother. Yeah, you're breaking up a bit, brother. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. You answered yeah. uh, mm -hmm. the question perfectly mm -hmm. because there's one faith, one hope, one baptism, so there's one perfect faith for everyone. And then he made a, a valid point, like, um, you know, most people like. My background is I used to belong to something called the Moorish Science Temple of America, which was like a black sect of Islam. And what they okay. taught was like they taught a, a Afrocentric version of Islam. And then it turned into the Nation of Islam. So um, but the 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 Nation of Islam evolved because the Moorish Science Temple said you're not supposed to hate white people. You're not supposed to disregard them. And they fought with the leaders of the more science temple and they started the nation of islam so now you have like in the united states and maybe in britain these black versions of islam but they don't know what what allah says and they don't know mm -hmm. what muhammad says you, you know yes. like they just know from what happened to them in slavery they want mm -hmm. to try something different so yeah. they create this ideal of islam and the Arab people, the, the 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 Muslims are very, they'll like if you're an atheist and you and you say atheist things and you say that you're a Muslim, they won't confront you. They won't bother you because yeah. you're increasing their numbers. Yeah. You know, like like the, the the Paul Williams guy. I mean, he'll say all sorts of stuff that has mm. nothing to do with Islam, and they'll still support him and things of that sort because it increases their numbers and that's all they're really concerned about they're not concerned about genuine believers because they don't believe in it themselves mm -hmm. like like you got like you show all the time you say like two weeks ago you did the show on muslims are going to hell and they all deny yeah. the scripture because they really yeah. don't believe in it so yeah scott yeah what about scott. Uh, what about the hedge what about the Hajj where all Africans get together, Africans, white, Asians get together, all, all year round, and all in unity, no racism, nothing happening there. I didn't hear what, I didn't hear what you said. We cannot hear you, Safras. Can you please? Yeah, far away from the microphone, Safras. Can, can, come close to the microphone, please. Hi, I'm just, I'm just talking about, about her, talking about Hajj. Yeah. About okay, you feel about the hajj. Okay. Okay. You know. Okay. Yeah. They, they, they they used to have hajj uh muta, where they would give out black slaves for sex for people that made the the journey to hajj. I mean, they did so many disrespectful things to blacks. They had the Arab slave trade, and the blacks couldn't buy their freedom, yeah. but the white slaves could. I think they were called the Mamluks. I mean, you know. The the people they were begging them to stop the slave trade as, as early as like the 19th and 20th century. They were begging the Sultan of Morocco to stop the Arab slave trade. Yeah, you know, and blacks couldn't couldn't buy their freedom, so they were stuck. There's a part of uh, I think Christian Prince was talking about it, but there's a part of Iraq and there's a part of Saudi Arabia that was founded on like basically black slaves where they. You know, I think Basra is one of the places, um, and I can't think of the other place, but yeah, you know, they're still heavily discriminated against. But when you come to the West, and let's say somebody comes and they're talking the Farrakhan stuff, they'll act like that's Islam, even though it's not really Islam, you know, just to get the numbers. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. They'll agree with the five percenters, they'll agree with all of these people, you know what I'm saying, just to get the numbers, and then you know, it creates this thing where 
you know, okay, you have black yeah. people that are that that may be disillusioned about something happening in their country and they're more apt to choose Islam than Christianity because they associate the faiths or the religions with the actions that happen to them, not with the actual sayings of Jesus and Muhammad. Yeah, now we have uh, no one and Mr. I don't know how to read the, the last. Yeah, welcome to the Samal Christian TV uh, live stream. Yes. Hello, number one accent. Hello, huh? number one Who's accent. speaking? Galabu one accent. No one, uh, no one. Uh, can you speak English only? Because this is Samal yes, English. I'm speaking English. Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you now. Yes, uh, thanks for allowing me into the stream. Uh, I have come some many times before also. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, as far as I know, the Christianity religion which you preach is based on many assumptions. So, why are you based Muslim on yourself, on... brother? Are you Muslim? Yes, I am Muslim. Christian. Are you Muslim? Okay. Here, yeah, I've come here to convert you to Islam as well. <laughs> Converted to Islam. Islam. Are you, you are Muslim? You want to convert to Islam? What is that? And Can I, you speak uh, louder? You. I don't hear you. Huh? Convert you. you convert you people. You, you want to convert Christianity? Convert you people to Islam. Ah, uh, you want to convert us to Islam? God forbid yes. that. Islam is not religion of any any anyone, and it will take you all to hell. But anyway, stay on the topic, brother. What are you going to say? How are you Allah or your prophet? Why they hate in black people and why they want to take all to hell? As far as I know, the black peoples are mostly hated by white and Christian peoples. They why? Hate that, Christian, that, before that, that, is, before that, that was your prophet. No, look, at, look at this. That uh, This is people hating people. But what about Allah, God and his prophet hating, hating certain people. people? Yeah. What about that? You know, we're the, talking about that exactly now. Yeah, you know the Bilal Habshi, the great Sahaba. Oh, Bilal. Know, we talk about yeah, Bilal. We yeah. don't want to yeah, talk Habshi. about that. Stay, stay, stay on the topic, brother. There's a verse <clears throat> Quran, uh, Samal Prophet read before, and it says all the people who go into hell, their face has to be black, and all the people After. going to heaven, they will be white. You know, and he said even the Hadith. We start with the Hadith. Allah create Adam. And he said his right hand come from uh, of white, white, white of spring, and they will go to heaven. And the, the right, uh, the left, uh, all Shoker. black, look like a, what they said, yeah, like a coal, coal, um, coal. Charcoal. 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 And they are going mm. to hell. Can you answer mm. that? What kind of God is that? That's, yes. you know, Satan itself? There's, there's the perfect God. So, for example, when it will be George Bush or Tony Blair, they oh, are no, 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 can he is he equal to George Bush? Just talk about the hadith. Let us stay yeah. with the hadith. Answer for that. Talking about hadith. Only. Listen, 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 listen. No one, no one, who, no whosoever one. Whosoever X Y Z will be, Steffi Graf or whosoever, whoever are people, white people in this world, when they will go to hell, before that they will be converted into black. They will be converted and, to black and then thrown in yes. hell. And those black people <laughs> will be going to yeah. heaven. They will convert to white. black. <laughs> I never hear people converting to black. I thought the blackness is our color. We're born like a black. Yes. We cannot convert who, to black. You cannot become are, black today, brother. Where you come from, are, original? No one. Where you come people, from? Listen, listen. Where you come from? Heaven, I'm black. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Yes. Where you come from, original? You are see, you are black. If you where you come from, what, what about you? Are you black? We are black, and we are brought to be black. Where you come from? I'm also black. You are not black. Yeah. Tell the truth. I'm black. No, well, he's black. He's, he sounds from? like he sounds like he could be black. Now, it, it, here's the thing. Look, no, you know, he's not black. Pig, Brown people, Asian people, Asians are I also black. You. 
Look, he's Asian. I understand. I can tell the accent. Yeah. He's not black. He's, he's a, not black. Asian. Okay, I'm sorry. He's Asian. So Asian people, Asians, Asian people Asians, they don't believe they are, they are black, they call, rather. Aren't they called black people by white Europeans? Oh, okay. Then no, we're not, we're not white people. people. We are black hello. people. We're not calling hello. black people. Hello. 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 In hello. Country, hello. Yeah, just to give this person a uh, okay. chance, please. Okay. Yeah. Um, good. Good afternoon and good morning. Peace to yeah. everybody in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Mm. I'm. I, I'm. I, I'm thankful that you actually have come forward with such an important ministry, and Thank may you. your ministry continue to flourish. Amen. Because of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit that is calling every single child of God home. Amen. And this is Amen. the promise that was made to yes. us. That every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess <laughs> that Jesus Christ is Lord. So Amen. today, if you hear the message and the word of God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and have not heard, then it's okay for us to shake the dust off of our feet and continue yeah. with our mission. I want to say this. I converted to Islam in 1995. Mm -hmm. wow. I did this as a result of pressure from my family and wanting to seek acceptance from my wow. family but little did i know that god had actually put me there for a purpose mm -hmm. the same way that god uses many prophets and puts them in places for learning mm -hmm. joseph went into the house of the pharaoh yeah. for a reason to carry out a prophetic mission daniel went into babylon for a prophetic reason so i claim the fact that god used me at that particular time to say that mm. islam it is not the word of god it mm -hmm. is in fact an antichrist yeah. religion it is antichrist because it will neither accept the lineage of christ the authority of christ and it will not accept that Jesus Christ is God revealed through the flesh that walked among us, that was crucified and overcame death. And Amen. until you are able to witness that, then you're working in an antichrist spirit. Yeah. Now, when I well, converted... Well, Kaya, that, that's your opinion. No, I'm t I, I, that's not my opinion. Read scripture. Please listen, listen, listen. Read, read scripture. Time. We'll Isaiah time. said. Oh, sorry, sorry, sister. I am with you. Yeah, that's okay. continue. Isaiah, yeah. Isaiah is the prophetic word of the Messiah. Yeah. And Isaiah said, And unto these people I will write the law in their heart. And Jesus turned around and said, I leave with you two commandments. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and love your neighbor as you would love yourself. And if yeah. you have somebody who is masquerading as a prophet that says because of a person's color of their skin, they are condemned to the hellfire, then they yeah. do not know the love of God. That Amen. was the prophetic word of Isaiah. I yield the mic, I thank you, and I will take a back seat. And now, uh, sister, before you, move, before you go, uh, you said you converted to, uh, to Islam in 1995. And uh, how do you come out from Islam and now, um, you know, in the, in, the, in the light of Christ? Yes. Just a few words, okay. please. All yeah. right. I went in and I could not feel the Holy Spirit. I could not feel the presence of God. It, it didn't matter how many times I got up and prayed. It didn't matter how many good deeds I did. It didn't matter how I prayed, whether I put my foot in the correct position, whether I was using my index finger, all of these symbolic things, it didn't bring me any closer to the word of God. 
But mm. God was with me ministering and teaching me and saying, Akaya, I am not here, but I want you to see where this lie is. And then one day, God just rooted me out. I took off my hijab, shook the dust off of my feet, and I walked away. And I've been on a lurch, very long, a very steep learning curve. I am not a prophet or a prophetess, but what I can tell you is this. I am a witness and a fool and a lover of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Amen. if I have to come out of my house and confess before men in the face yeah. of death, I will do it because I know that Jesus Christ is my Lord, Savior, and resurrection. And, and mm -hmm. once I have that, I don't have Amen. no fear of the hellfire, which no. you know some people are worried about. I understand. Mm -hmm. People are worried about being an apost apostate. I'm, I understand people are worried about having fatwas issued against them and honor killings. Yep. And all yep. we can do is, is pray that we are able to go in and protect those who we have come to claim in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm, I'm, Amen. I'm, I'm, Amen. 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 Thank you, sister. Thank wow. you very much. It is uh, just Powerful a touching testimony. and uh, encouragement and amazing yeah. testimony. Yeah. We thank you that you come on uh, live stream and share. The, yeah. We needed this, and this is the uplifting spirit of yeah. you know, uh, for us. And we, we thank you, and may the Lord be with you and protect you and shield you yeah. and guide you and use you for his own, yeah. you know, uh, uh, for the purpose of uh, his kingdom. What an amazing testimony. Thank yeah. you, sister, coming and joining with us. And you can come back anytime you like. This is your channel. This is a family. <laughs> this is here, family. Yes, we are all family here, family of God. Amen. Uh, you actually, yeah. I actually go to Speaker's Corner. I'm going yeah. to wow. just, just share you another reason as well. Sorry, I'm not going to take up yeah. much time. Yeah. I have hosted two princes and a princess from the house of Saud in my own home as a Christian woman. And wow. what I heard coming from their mouths, I had to ask them to leave. The reason being is this, there is definitely a disdain and a dislike of African women yeah. because some of the conversations that they wanted to engage me in when they were trying to convert, re, re, reconvert me back into Islam, I didn't <sighs> like, but that's for another day. So I'm yeah. going to allow for people to contribute. I've made what I've had to say. I will make this channel my home. And if you yeah. need me to, to, to support and do whatever... <laughs> It is that God wills you to do. You have my support. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. yes, darling. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. As we're talking about the in black people should not be Muslim, I would love to even to share that briefly, the what they said about the black woman, you know? Please, because now is the topic. I think that's more interesting than to hear something else now. Yeah, please, if you can just say briefly about the black woman, how they... How they treated and uh, yeah, how what they, they said you know, to you. And, yeah. Sister Akia, are you still there? Yeah. Ah, okay. No. Okay, no yeah, problem. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I, uh, yes, I am here. Yeah. Um, if you go into, I'm not a verse person. You would have, you have more authority over me because you understand Arabic and you can read it fluently and you've been brought up in the culture. Yeah. But if you just look at the treatment of black African women today yeah. in Muslim countries, most recently in Libya, an African woman got up and waved the green flag. And what was done to her? She was, approached, is... she was approached by Arab men, okay, yeah. and beaten. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We know that in, in, in some places, like in uh, um, some places when African women go to work in Arab families, they're treated like slaves. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I can I can I inter intervene? Wait, um, wait, wait, wait! Don't interfere, please. Let her Let finish. Her yeah. Yes, Let just finish. Uh, wait One until she time. finishes, and then you can have a yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. So, 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 so you have African women who go to these Arab countries, and they are treated like slaves. Slaves. Please yeah. tell me this. Tell me which one African country you go to where they own slaves. 
there's slavery in Africa. You don't. I don't no, know. No, 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 no. You, no, you listen, right? I don't know. Who, who's I'm, speaking? Who is speaking? Mute, mute it, mute it, uh, Samal Prophet, please. Yes. Anyone who speak, we will mute you. I uh, will maybe kick you out if you are just coming out against the 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 person. Who's if speaking. you if you have something you to have say, to just remember it and wait, wait your turn. Don't your interrupt. Turn. Yeah. Okay, sister. I just want to add that uh, in Libya. You said Libya, yeah. There is a Somali people who been like so even men, not only women, so even men slavery, yeah. sold to slavery and also sex traffic. You know, yeah, yeah. using yeah. them sex like a man and woman the same thing and sold them as a slave. You know, Somali people are there and they even make a video clips on YouTube's and showing and they will say. If, if you don't pay us, like a, they will ask ransom. it, ridic ridiculous ransom. money, yeah. ransom, yeah. like a 30,000, something like that for one person. We will we will even kill them and take their kidney and uh, inside yeah, organs, organs, inside organs yeah. and sell them. And there was one time, serious, I see video, I cried. There was a mother and with, uh, with the kids and they show how they take inside organs away, you know, and they all die, you know. It, it is very, very sad. And slavery is even today is going on with the Arab countries. Mm. Arab countries. Why is that? Because their prophet said that. Their prophet said anyone who, the, the hadith says, anyone who called the prophet black, kill him. That's, it will be even you, the reason to kill, uh, they can kill you if you even call him black. So that's why we sit in here as a black people and calling our nation, our people, our black people, please leave Islam because it's Islam and that religion is not the religion of black people. They're not going to respect you. They will see you like a beneath them, you know? They will see you like a slave in this earth. And after that, Allah said he will take all the black people to hell. So what the heck, why you have to follow that religion? Why you have to follow that cult? Sister, I just want I just want you to come in there. Remember yeah. when when Jesus ascended, Peter was already doing his ministry, yeah. and the Ethiopian eunuch was walking, and he had the book of Isaiah, and yeah. Peter said to him, "What is it?" He said, "I have come to find the Messiah," and Peter said, "He's already come." and mm. baptized him and said, go back into Abyssinia and spread the good news. Yes. The word of God was already in Abyssinia. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church was already established through wow. the Ethiopian eunuch oh, who man. had already had, the word of God has always been with Africans. Amen. Oh, right? So oh, I man. make no apology. I do not have to sit down and say, well, you, I, I don't know what history is about. The word of God and the gospel already tells us that. I, yeah. I, I, I'd like to bring that brother back in to say that there's slavery in Africa. Of is course. it? Can I would I, like I to know who I... is who is heading up the slavery in Africa. Is it Christians or is it Muslims or is it another faith? Thank you. No, all I can say yes, is uh, I just wanted to add in Africa that there's slavery in African countries. And uh, can you can you speak aloud a bit? Um, we cannot uh, hear you. What is his name? Master. Master. Yes. Yeah, speak aloud a bit. I just said that there's slavery till today, today till today till this day in Africa. What is your proof? You're talking about Boko Haram, Al Shabaab taking kidnapping women and and kids. No, I'm talking and slave, about making them slave and making them pregnant. I'm not talking about the religious aspect of it. I'm talking about today in Africa. There are African women being trafficked. Show us. Show us. Africa. Okay, we're talking about your prophet now. Let us come back. We don't want to talk now uh, there must, because must we don't have a proof. We don't want to go around the topic. In the topic, your prophet said anyone who called the prophet black kill them. And also our sister talk about the hadith, uh, if you read uh, number seven, uh, uh, it says about black Ethiopian. What Muhammad yes. said, the black people, Ethiopian people, what he so, said. So Sahil Bukhari, 111, 664. Yeah. The prophet said to Abu Dar, listen and obey your chief, even if he is an Ethiopian with a head like a raisin. La head, he head like a raisin. How disrespect is that? Can you call someone he head with the raisin? What is that? If he said it's a racing, 
is God made that way, isn't it? And it is beautiful. What God made, he said, everything is beautiful. Doesn't matter if your hair is, is, is straight or racing or whatever. What kind of prophet, what kind of role model he is? One is called uh, black hair and, and uh, racing. What do you call it? Racing hair. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really disrespectful. Very. Yeah. Very. Take a creation of God and yeah. you call it ugly and you call it cursed. Yes. It's, cursing God because God created black people, white people, Asian people. So when you sit here and you say this person is cursed because of the color of their skin mm. are disrespecting God and yeah. not seeing one of the miracles of God that God gave us pigment so that we can thrive in certain environments. Without yeah. pigment, you wouldn't be able to uh you know inhabit certain parts of africa and 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 be successful and you know there's certain places where you don't need pigment you know what i'm saying so you're, you're taking away from something beautiful that god did to support your own human knowledge your, your own human understanding so don't disrespect god and and, and Black Muslims you should be offended. You should be offended. No one. You just said that the uh, white people that are bad are going to be turned black. You, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't disrespect uh, black people like that. Don't disrespect God like that. Like God, yeah. Didn't, like you, you, you think that God is so evil that he would really tap Adam's left shoulder and say, uh, "I'm going to create black people and off the hell you go," and I don't care. Where's the mercy in that? Where's the most merciful? No. <laughs> no mercy. You guys want to keep playing around with this guy. You want to keep playing with this guy. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you want to be a part of something, and you're going to end up in hell. Stop playing. Yeah. This guy had no profit. He enriched himself. He did everything every cult le leader does. He got all the women and all the money. That's what he did. And then he went to Africa and he conquered by the sword and enslaved the women. And now to today, you go to like uh, Somalia and, and uh, Sudan, they're doing ethnic cleansing. You got black people that think they're Arabs that are going around raping black people. Other my brother, you don't know nothing about my country before you speak. But what, what, what country do you live in? Well, I'm in the UK, but from Somalia. You're you from? Can speak up, you can what? speak about Sudan. Who's from, like, who is from Somalia? Master, Mister, Master, let me let me. Are you ask from it. Somalia? Yeah, let me ask. Do you think you are African? <laughs> they don't even. We yeah, don't let even me believe. ask you, Master, uh, one question. We just read a hadith uh, where Muhammad was standing in front of Neptal, and he said to all people, "Do you want to see Satan? If look, you want to see Satan, if you want to see Satan, look at Neptal. Neptal, yeah. So, if you would be in his position." As a black person, as a Somali man, in front of Muhammad, he calls you that way. How would you feel, Master? Master? We've given you the opportunity to speak, Master. but it seems like you're only speaking when you want to interrupt somebody else. Yeah. The floor is yours, so where are you? He doesn't want to say anything now. No, I just wanted to call in originally and ask... The two couple that who are hosting this show is why did you uh, why do you attack Somali people who are Muslims? That's why I wanted to call originally. No, we are not. We are not attacking Somali people. We love Somali people. They are our people. We are calling them to come out the cult and to come to follow the real, real savior. You know, Again, the you real God. Attack, because attacked, you no, God, you listen. Didn't attack your own people. That we people did not. We did not attack. Listen. We do not attack. We do not attack. We love them so much. That's why we're here. We have to tell the truth. I know it's so painful, the truth, because your prophet hates so much black people. He calls Satan and Somalis are black. Yeah. Are you not black? Uh, are you not black? Master, master. master how... Are you black or not black? Uh, first, I have to know. Okay. If he believes he's black or he believes he's Quraysh, are you Arab Quraysh or you are black? Let me hear from you first. I am neither of those. I am a Somali man. Oh, Somali is not black then. 
Are you not black man if you are a Somali? I, I can. I, I, I identify as a Somali man. I do not identify are you, as a Somali. This is why you are like a Somali. Are you, Af are you African? Are you African? Yes, that's where I'm from. It's a continent. I do not identify. You African? Okay. African. What, about you? what about your color? You are black man. Yeah, we are, we are black. What is your color? Again, I just explained to you, I identify by my ethnicity. Okay. Oh. Your, your ethnicity is not white. Your ethnicity is black. He's we, just in denial. Yes. <laughs> so I would want to say something. Denial. No, you're putting words It's, it's no, just no, a bit, it's a bit listen, frustrating. Listen, listen, Master. You are saying, yes, I am Somalian. Yes, I'm African. Are you black? I identify as Somali. What is that? What is that, please? Yeah, because they brainwash him Why as a child. Why are you running child? away from the question? Are you black? Oh my God, you just yes said or no. no Don't say I'm Somali. I, 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 yes sorry, or no. no. Sorry, moderator. Let me just try and put it this way. Go ahead. So my brother who is from Somali, I understand where you're coming from, okay? All right? But there is nothing wrong in identifying as being black. Because people mm -hmm. may see or use the word negatively, we embrace it because we yeah. know that it is the most powerful thing to embrace. But what I'm saying yes. to you is this, right? If you were walking down the street in the UK, would somebody identify you as a Somalian or would they identify you as a black man, white man or a brown man, an Asian? A Asian? Madam, I do not care what you identify me no, as. No, I'm asking you. I'm, 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 I'm asking you. So you're going around. Okay, I'm not going to ask you to. It's a sensitive area for you, yes. so I'm not going to press it, okay? If you oh, identify... My sister, sister, mm. uh, you, you tell the truth. Somali people are black, but they deny. They don't accept they are black. They call other people, other no, African, no, no, they no, call no, no, all no, no, African. No, 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 they are black. No, no, they are black. So and so are black. Listen. You are black. Listen. Listen to me when I'm speaking. Don't speak uh, same over time me. with me. Please, don't speak over me. You are black man. Either love it or hate it, it's up to you. But you have to be proud of your color. The it's, color you are. We are black and we are so proud of that. Exactly. Like You, you have to be you proud. You pick and choose what, what ethnicity you are. You are black. That's how it works. Mr. Judgment, the Somali Mr. people, they, don't, they, they can never me say me they are black people. Identity. Let me ask you about your identity. Listen. God, God no. has humans into tribes let me ask you a question i feel sorry for anyone this includes white people who identify by a crayon color let me tell you something about black you know what comes to my head when it comes to black someone someone who doesn't know their identity someone in a new world well, oh, you can, yeah, not... yeah but let me finish i'm making you okay, an okay, yeah. African person i don't see an african person is black let's say someone from nigeria or kenya african they know their tribe who they are these people okay. identify by their tribe Okay. So why am I going to identify by a crayon color, by the white man or anyone else? Okay, what about your tribe then? Are your tribe is Horeshi? No, my tribe is Somali. Somali is not a tribe. Somali is a, a, a country and, uh, you know, and, uh, listen, folk, listen, folk. Listen, spirit. Listen, Somalis are black people. Somali are black, brother. Either don't don't deny it. Hate. Don't deny it, please. I this am not denying it. I'm just about identity. Listen, listen. When the sister asks you the question, if you are in the UK, if you are in Europe, walking on the street, when people see you, they're not going to say he's a Somali or Kenyan or Ethiopian. They will say, ah, oh, black man. You are a black man. And you have to be proud of that. Don't be ashamed. Why are you so scared and so uh, scared? Uh, uh, yeah. uh, master, well, one minute, Master. Uh, I have to repeat it. Another day, I watched a video um, uh, that a Muslim sheikh made it. And, uh, you know, he said in his congregation, Somali, Somali yeah. man and a Somali um, uh, mosque. He said, all of you, black you people, all of you, black people, you don't go to, 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 to heaven, Jannah. he said, to, to Jannah. Jannah. And, and said, people were, wow, they're shocked. And he <laughs> said, no, don't worry. Allah will make you white, he said. Like and Ar then not only white, like Arabs, he said. <laughs> so in, in, instead of being, you know, um, uh, proud of his color, he is, you know, embracing and um, making other colors, you know, uh, popular or more, um, more beautiful than, than, yeah. than, than, than his own. Yeah. So your color is black, and our color is black. We so we have to embrace people. that's uh, the African. way the way God has made it of in you know, us. So we we don't we don't deny it. But can I just can I, can I no, sorry? No, go on, sister. Yeah, go on. Can I just make the point? In yeah. your Quran and in your Hadith, your Allah refers to people by color. 
know, he identifies people by color. He categorizes people by color. He oh. says, if you are white, oh. yeah. okay, these are your benefits. Yes. And if you are black, these are your downfalls. Yes, so why yeah. is it that you have a problem identifying with black or white? Because you know that your hadith and your Quran says that if you are black, you are a negative. You are yes. just, you, you you are the lowest of the class. And right. because no, of that, no, no. Just you because, that. it does say it. Where where does it say? Can you show me? Your your all oh, right. Okay, it is it is implied by your prophet in yeah. his utterances that yeah. if you are black, these are the woes that will befall you. You will go into the hellfire. But yeah, we read that white, in the beginning of the life stream. Yeah. But if you are white, you yeah. will go into Jannah. So by yeah. default, it doesn't take rocket science to yeah. understand what he was actually saying. So if I I'm Thanks. just I'm just I'm just if I was a black person, yeah. a weak black person, and I was listening to what that prophet was saying and taking it as God's truth. I wouldn't want to be black. I'd want yeah. to be white to get into Jenna. But, yeah. yeah. but because I know of the love of God that I have through his son, Jesus oh, yes. Christ. Amen. I know that color, creed, race, gender has no relevance because he says in the Bible, it says our physical bodies will not enter into the kingdoms that will come. Man and woman will not go in there. We go in our spirit, in our spirit form. Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. In our spirit form. So it doesn't matter to me whether somebody sees my color of my skin as a threat. <laughs> this is what God created me in. Amen. He knew me from the beginning and he shall know me in the end. So what Amen. I'm saying to you, brother, is this. Your prophet has already established through his yeah. own utterance that yeah. there is a distinct difference between white and black people. No, black no, people. no, 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 no. Don't say no, no, no. We read the, the beginning. We Can have I the hadith in front of you. No, Can no, no Safras, 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 yeah. please sit the, uh, 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 mute to your phone, your, your, your mic. Uh, you muted mean, your mic. You muted I mean, your mic because you hear that once some other broker was reading. Number. No, no, I no. Have, I have, I have, I have been quiet for half an hour. I, I, quiet been for half an hour. I've been quiet. Okay, what, what, what do you want to say? Are you, are you repeating the same hadith? He just again, no, no, no. he wanted to read all the time. Let me, let me call you one. I'm, uh, I'm just in a rush here. Okay? Your microphone is making noise. Can you stop that noise? Hmm? Okay, is it me? All right, yes, now it's okay. They, yeah, there's speak. one hadith just before the. Prophet passed away in his final sermon. He said, Oh people, your Lord is one and your father is Adam is one. There is no favor over an Arab over a foreigner, nor a foreigner over an Arab. Neither is a white skin over black skin, nor black skin over white skin. What is that hadith? Except by righteousness. So what he's saying here, there's no higher. You a white man is not higher than a black man. And a black man is not higher than a white man. It's all in the heart, your piety. And this is a well-known hadith. Known why, to why, 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 why the hadith said anyone who called the prophet black killed them? That's, uh, what is, that's, what about that? That? that is not a true hadith. That is not a true uh, why, hadith. Why your prophet talking about his arm beat was white, his chin was white, his this and that was white. And that hadith, not, the sister talking white. about earlier, Somali prophet mm -hmm. wants to read the hadith again. You want to read uh, the, Quran, uh, the Quran? You want to read both of them? Read the two. Wait, 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 wait. Somali, Somali yeah, prophet. I, is reading I just now. wanted to read this as well. Yeah. Um, this is Al Tirmidhi number 38. Yeah. This is what I read earlier. <clears throat> so it says Allah created Adam when he had to create him, and he struck his right shoulder, and there emitted from it white offspring, as if they were white ants. He struck his left shoulder, and there emitted from it black offspring, as if they were charcoal. He then said to those who had been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise, and I do not mind. Yeah. Then he said to those who had been emitted from his left shoulder, they are for hell, and I do not mind. The black offspring 
are purely for health. What do you have to say about that? Safras, so now speak then. Uh, yeah, he, he's not speaking now. Safras, so if you hear me, you have just said, uh, you know, you, you just picked up one hadith. Let's say that's a hadith. There are other hadiths aligned. A lot. And uh, they are you against that day. hadith. Yeah. What do we say about them? Are they abrogated or one is real, the others are fake? What about the other hadiths we just read? Like uh, Sahih Bukhari 2334, when it says, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, among the, the most hateful among the creation of Allah is a black man. Black man, yeah. So how can that black man who is so hated in um, among the um, uh, Allah uh, among the nation creation. among the creationists, how can he be a leader or how can he be respectful Not when all. it says Allah hates him? Mm. And you, that means you have to hate him as well. How can we reconcile with the one you read and this one? Yeah. Can I yeah. say? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Scott. Go on, Scott. Okay. It just shows that Muhammad was a false prophet because he did the same thing with the Quran with the Christians. He said, you know, if you're a Christian, uh, you go to heaven and there's no fear. And then in another verse, he says, bring the Christians in chains. So, mm -hmm. you know, one minute he's cursing black people and the next minute he makes a, a saying like that. And <laughs> yeah. why he did it, he, he would do it to try to convert people. So he always wanted people. The satanic verses were to convert uh the the Qureshi people Babies, so, yeah he was all about converting people and he would say what you would like to hear to try to convert you but yeah. there's something that jesus said you shall know them by their fruits so yes. his fruits show his fruits show the hatred towards black people i'll mm -hmm. show you an example um let me just go into the chat it says uh the, and and this is ishak 144 it says, yeah. the rock was put on a slave's chest. When Abu Bakr complained, they said, you are the one who corrupted him. So save him from his plight. And he said, I will do so, said Bakr. I have a black slave tougher and stronger than Bilal, who is mm -hmm. a heathen, and I will exchange him. And the transaction was carried out. So they would terrorize black slaves, basically, to see who was stronger than Bilal, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, and, and use them for, for menial labor. And then when there was like intellectual labor, just like uh, what Shino read earlier, he traded two black slaves for Arab slave. Yeah. So there's blatant disrespect to black people, Islam, and it carried on all the way until now when they had slavery, the black slaves by their friends. You know what I'm saying now you got this Somali guy getting upset, but we're not the ones in Somalia that are Arabic. They're teaching you that you're better than black So you go out and hurt other black people, not knowing that God is not the enemy of black people. You know, and God is the enemy of false prophets. Yes. And, yeah. and you're going to be a false prophet because God... Hello, the rubbish. Can I just ask you, yeah? Can I ask this question, yeah? <laughs> who's actually, you know, who's actually, you know, doing all the research on these hadiths because that hadith that you just quoted yeah from from them Hadi, that is not even a, a real hadith at all That's oh not Safras, even you you will make today the if and, and this and that we even read the sahih al-bukhari hadith no Safras, you quote two hadith that are not even real listen we you even read the ayah listen Safras, please Listen to the verse in the Quran, what they say is in the Quran. Somebody yeah, prophet, well. if you read that uh, verse from the Quran, let us stop a little, uh, little minute. Uh, yes. just read so this is Quran, Quran 3, 106. Yeah. On, yeah. on the day, some faces will turn white and some faces will turn black. As for those whose faces turn black, to them it will be said, did you disbelieve after your belief? Then taste the punishment for what you used to reject. So yeah. essentially, the only people that will be in heaven Will have the white uh, will will have white faces. And the only people that will be in hell will have black faces. How racist is that, to you Allah? That's not so racist. racist, and that's verse. That's not racist. It's a racist. What, what is this then? That's why. Right. Can, 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 can I ask a question? Can you ask a question to the, to the brother? Let, yeah. let, let him answer this question then. Can yeah. you explain to me 
why that hadith, whether it is weak hadith or strong hadith, it is still part of your religious narrative. Yes, right? yes, yes. it's not, yeah, it's it's not, not part of my religious Brother, religious I'm going to let you come in. Let me, I'm going to let you come in, right? Wait. It is yeah. still part of your religious doctrine, whether it's a yeah. weak hadith and you reject it or you accept yeah. it. Can yeah. you explain to me how that is not racist? Thank you. Yeah. No, the, it says the two hadiths that mentioned are fabricated. They're not even real. So how on earth can I answer to it? They're not even real hadiths. You can do your own research. Well, or just well, what about the verses in the Quran, Safras? Even the Quran we talk about now, how can he say their face will be black? Can you go yeah, out? Their face can is you really black. I know, I know this verse. I know this is that, verse. Is that good? Is that good? Even now, in, no. in this time uh, we live in, no one can go f uh, their face black. You cannot do, you cannot paint your face black and go out or make a picture of that. That would be insult to our, our people, isn't it? No, black it's people, for, black community. No, it's for example now, yeah, their, their faces are going to be turned black in, in a way where... Why is making black people? Because why is making the face no. black? What does that Meaning, mean? Meaning isn't be dirt on the face, then be black dirt on the face. That's why they were they were this believers is doesn't they are not doing when we talk about when we talk about the old hadith and sahih, we give it to you. You just laughed and said you, you, boy, you are not black. black. You are not black, Safras. Okay, okay. So I think I you think say, you have to you, stop. You try you try you try to appease the conversation by now saying it doesn't mean physical black it's dirt so are you <laughs> suggesting that black is dirty black oh, is dirt. yeah, it's question. even worse than that you know <clears throat> nothing to do with racism trust me you've got nothing to do with racism at all oh, okay. that, that but uh, Frank, why, why it is used why it's it is used to black and white why um yes. Allah did not use other colors all the why, exactly, black. why exactly black and white and why black things are always associated with the bad thing yeah for example like the Kaaba. It used to be white, for instance. White. And then because of the sin of men, when they kissed it, and it turned black. Yeah. Why blacks associated with it? Even bad dog, thing. black dog. Black dog, no, and, uh, you know, Satan so is black. And uh, when he have seen and, and, and in his dream, <laughs> in his dream, a woman, a black woman, he said she's a, a pandemic, something like that. Satan. Why black is associated with the bad thing in Islam? It's not everything that's, that's black that's so, so associated with Islam that's, that's Evil is nothing to do with racism. It's nothing to do with racism. Trust me, Islam is not a racist religion. I just call yeah, you. I would, I, would love, I would love to, uh, you know, um, trust you. I would love to trust you, but the sources we are reading, they are not trustworthy. No. So you may be more moral, you're more, you're more, you're more maybe better than uh, what we're reading now yeah. here, and uh, the quotation we have here, and uh, the sources we have here, they oh, are on, on above as you believe. Yeah. You call me two. Everything Muhammad said. Everything Muhammad said, it's not just his words. It's revealed to him. So the verses or the, uh, the, the hadiths we read, they are from Allah, we would say so, if you wish it. But, but you, they, are, they are damaging and they are respect, this is respectful. And they the are hating black and people, for again, our against people. our people. Yeah. That's why we are, you know, uh, not incited, but we are, uh, you know, we're raising awareness to our people that this is how Islam is treating you. And this come is not out. real God, from, and this is not real yeah. faith. So come can out. I, can I just ask you, yeah, why did uh, Jesus call the non-Jewish woman a uh, uh, dog for? Okay, you, yeah. you crossed the line now. You yeah. crossed the line. We are not gonna answer. We, you yeah, cross the line. Do you want me to kick you out from the, from wait, the, from wait. the, from the chat? No one can answer. I don't want anyone okay. to answer. Because if you answer that, he will ask another question and another question and another question. Okay. They want to take us. They I want to take us from the topic. That's our policy here. We don't answer outside the topic. Stick with the topic. Otherwise, you'll be kicked out. That's what you, who you are. And we're not going to answer. We can answer for you, but we're not going to do because we are not your dummies. You come here deceiving us, our life stream. Like you, you got, you got. Somal, uh, what is his name? Uh, uh, brother Chris. Christian Prince. He made this book, 2009. I bought, I bought it. He wrote this book, and the call, deception of Allah. Allah is deception, uh, is the deception of Allah. And you come here to deceive, uh, deception for our our lifestyle. You're not going to do that. 
We're not going to accept that. I'm sorry, but no one can answer. Anyone else? No one? Do you have any question or comment yeah, about, yeah, about the topic. this topic, this question, this verses? Yes, yes, I've got a question. On your previous live stream, you talked about... No, 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 not previous, not previous. I, no, I what's going on right. with you? Now we're talking about this one. No, Why you Allah and your prophet hate? First of all, make your microphone better because it's so much noise, noise coming from you. Your, your, your mic. It's a lot of noise coming from your mic. I'm asking you why you Allah and your prophet hate so much black people. That's what we want to answer. You can answer for us. Oh, no, no answer. No one can answer. No one. Can you answer? Can you answer why your prophet hates, hates my people, black people? Why he hates me? Why he hates all us? Black people. Oh, now he's off. A Somali man, <coughs> Master, I don't know even the other, uh, the written there. Master, why you Allah and you prophet hates my people? Black people. When you say people, whose people? Like, can you show me? We're Muslim talking about people? the black people. We've been reading the Quran and the Hadith all day. Can you answer those? We've been talking about earlier yeah, the Quran me, and the Hadith. I was late for the live stream. Could you please tell me when the Quran it says it hates black people? Well, he other said people? he will put onto hell fire all the black people. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Is that uh, not uh, hell? Wait, wait a minute, Master. <laughs> Master. We just read Hadith Sahih Bukhari, which says the most hateful, the most hateful people. Brats are not. What is that? Uh, too much noise coming from your mic, brother. You have to be quiet, bliss, if you want to join with us in the live stream. And wait your turn. Okay, Master, he doesn't know his Quran. He don't believe he's black. He's a Somali. He has just delusion in his mind. You yeah. know, the Somali people, they think, oh, we are Arab. We are Qureshi. We are not black. They call other people, oh, so-and-so are black. African, African, but I'm not African. <clears throat> But you are black, you oh, are no, African. Yes. Oh, no, you're putting we, words into my mouth. You don't, we don't want we don't want a tribe. Listen, 30 years we've been our country, my people being killing each other because of tribe. You come here and you are a young man, you sound like young. I, I don't know, know where, you, where you where how old are you? I'm in my early thirties. Early thirties. And where, where do you live? Well, I've been living in the UK. Live in the UK, but now you've been talking about the tribe, you know. How do you know about tribe? You know the tribe just kill, Did don't you know? give you life. Tribe is what killing our people in back home in Somalia. You know, the Somali people, first time they meet you, they will say, what's your name? My name is Shania. What's your tribe? The second word they ask you, or the second question, it is what your tribe? And you came here and you said, our people know only tribe. And you said, I don't want people call me black, but I want people call me my tribe. Who knows you? No, tribe? I said, no, what, what I is said, your tribe? I said I identify by my ethnicity, which is Somali. Somali is not a tribe, it's an ethnicity. You did not say that. You said earlier with the, even black people, you, you can go back and listen yourself. You said even the black people, they have tribe. And you said we have tribe. You talk about the tribe. And Jesus said there is no tribe. He said no Jewish, <clears throat> no Gentile, no yeah. male or female, I'm no sure slave, no that. free. You are all one in Christ. I'm talking about. The word of God. I'm yeah. reading yeah. the word must, of God must for start. you. Must start. If, if, if yeah. God, must start. in the Bible, I've got a question for you. This listen, is listen. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no question. No, no, question, no, from, no, no. question from the Bible. Must start. Do you believe uh, the hadiths are, you know, um, uh, wahyi? Do you believe that all hadiths are wahyi? Even the ayah. Do you, believe, do you believe that Sahih Bukhari, which is authentic, is hadith or, you know, a revelation from Allah? So, if so, Sahih Muslim, book five, number two, three, three, four says, the Prophet said, that's why, yeah? The most hateful among the creation of Allah is? Black man. A black man. And we're all black. So, you said, where did it say, um, I hate black or see and so? So, you have the hate, most hated black, most hated person is a black person. And this is a revelation from Allah. So Allah hates you. Allah hates us. Yeah. But we left Allah and we don't believe Allah. Yeah. Because it's, he's not the real God. No. But real God created you 
of his own image yeah. and he loves you he loves and when he made you he said this is wonderful this is good mm -hmm. you are so precious to him yeah and not only you the whole creation he made so that is where we're coming from we want you to leave out the delusion and uh, you know the bad image of um, you know giving allah uh, or giving god that he is a bad person or bad um, uh, bad um, uh, creator god loves you and that's why we sit here to call you to believe in him that you will have relationship with him and you identify yourself a one in him so you will act like he uh, will love you to act yeah so oh, you are going that? going to Jannah. You're not going to Jannah as a black person or a white person. Yeah. You're going as our, our sister said as an spirit, it's and good. that spirit needs to be saved right now. Yeah. Because God, uh, Jesus said, in uh, uh, in uh, in John chapter three, when he's seen um, uh, uh, Nicodemus, you have to be born again. Yeah. What is the flesh? Again. Yeah. What's yeah. on the flesh? Yeah. It is from flesh, but yeah. what's in the spirit? Spirit. spirit. So you have to born again. again. You have to be born again as a spirit. Yeah. So your spirit will be joined with God later on. So you need the Holy Spirit in you that will transform you, but not your body. Your body will be. I mean, your color. Your color will be the same. You cannot change your ethnicity. You cannot change your color. Yeah. But religion, you can change religion. Yeah. But relationship with God, you cannot change it because it's part of you. He calls you by 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 your name. He calls you my own child. He yeah. will call you my own son. Yeah. So that is you know relationship and that's you know in, 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 intimacy. Yeah. So God loves you, uh, Muhammad or Master Muhammad. So don't <laughs> stay there. He wants you to, save, to be saved. And right now maybe he's knocking your heart. Yeah. Leave and, Islam. And asking you, open your heart. I will. I will dine with you. Mm. And you will be mine. I will be yours. You will share something with him. And Jesus said. My those who are mine will be with me forever. Yeah, I will prepare a place for them. When I come back, I will bring them all with them with me. Yeah. So God loves you. And you, you know Father. what I love that verse is so much because in Islam they will say even in Jannah it's different in uh, floors. Yeah, it's different floors and different, different uh, floors. Yeah. So the the best one will go the top floor, you know, and the the lowest the, the lowest floor will go the not so best, yeah. you know. And Jesus saying here. All of you, you will be with me. You know where I am. You will, you will be, be also, also with, yeah. with me. So there is no Jewish, no Gentile, like we said before. No slave, no free. We are all one in Christ Amen. Jesus. Amen. And we call you for that. Please leave Islam. Yeah. And Somali people, please remember you are not Arab. You are not Qureshi. You are not white. You are black. You have to be brought the color God has given to you. And come the way you are. Just the way you are. Yeah. Come and... Turn back to Islam, leave Islam, and come Islam. to Christ. Yeah. Repent your sins. You need Jesus. You don't need Muhammad, Amen. who said anyone who called uh, Muhammad black kill them. What's wrong Amen. to be black? I, I'm I think, black. I'm so proud to be black. What's think, wrong with that? I'd just like to just share with my my brother from Somalia. Yeah, I understand. Okay, I really do to some point understand because when I converted to Islam, okay. It was very difficult for me to leave mm -hmm. because I felt that my family were going to reject me. Yeah. My community was going to reject me. I felt threatened and I had to go by faith. But it wasn't just faith. It was the love of the true living God through the relationship mm. that I have with his one and begotten yeah. son, Jesus Christ that yeah. I held on to, okay? Oh, and it is a, it is difficult, especially if it's only, if it's the religion that you've only ever known. And I'm not here to say to you that you must give up everything that you've become accustomed to. But what mm. I would say to you is, read your Quran. Yeah. Read your hadith. There are <laughs> things in the Quran and hadith that just do not make sense. It yeah. doesn't yeah. promote some of the things that we should be doing as children of God Amen. in this essence of love. Yes. Jesus Amen. says to love the Lord thy God with all of your heart mm. and to love your neighbor as you would love yourself. Amen. Amen. And if you know the essence of love, 
and you know the realness of love. When you read some of the verses within the Quran, you, it must touch you in your heart to say, this doesn't make sense. Right. This, this, the, the word of God cannot really be telling me these things. Um, mm. And especially if in the Quran, or whether it's a weak hadith or a strong hadith, if it is saying to hate your fellow man, then it cannot be the true word of God because God yeah. does not promote hate. Yes. Okay, I've got a question for you about, you just mentioned um, love your fellow man. Do you love your neighbor? I do not like the sin that may, sometimes I'm exposed to, okay? All right? And, and, and I'll tell you that. But I will love you in Christ because that what this is what my scriptures tell me. It's not for me to cast this virgin over you. It's for me to love you even in the face of animosity. I yeah. love my Muslim brothers and sisters. I really tr truly do. And my prayer is for you. <coughs> my prayer is for you. But you have to open your heart to receive that and let go of any fear or any doubt and just... It's very... I, I hear what you're saying, okay? And hmm. neither one of us in here can save you. Not one of us. It's only no. through Jesus only can Jesus you be can. saved. But hmm. what we can do is to share the good news with you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I hope that this is what you will get. Okay. My, my life is good the way it is, but all I gotta say is you are docile for loving your fellow human being as this life is temporary in this world. That's all I gotta say. Bible turns around and says to me, I am only but a stranger passing through. I am not yeah. of this world. But whilst I'm in this world, if I have the experience to share the essence of love, let me share, share the it. essence Amen. of love and yes. at such time when i leave this world and if i have the power to love i would prefer to walk in the spirit of love more mm -hmm. than to walk in the spirit of hate which okay. is Amen. not of god wow. yeah and let me yeah. tell you what the scripture says it says he that knoweth not love knoweth not god for god yeah. love. is love amen yeah, but also, but also, there's a. I just remember when sister was talking, I love you, your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbors Neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. But there's also love your enemies. You know, there is no that verse in, in, nowhere. in the, nowhere else. They don't have in Islam loving your enemies. No one can love their enemies. It, but no when you walk, when you walk in the spirit, you have as the our spirit sister of said, God, yes. yeah, and the essence of love, yes, that will be possible. Yes, because the love of Christ, born in your heart, can change you, your personality, and you will love them, and you love even your enemies, and you pray those who persecute, persecute you. you, they hurt, uh, hurting you, they hating you, they rejecting you, but you have to love them, welcome them, pray for them, and give them. All the love and everything they ask, uh, if you can, you can uh, just to help them, you know. So that's the different differences between Islam and, and Christianity. Christianity is just pure love because our God is loving God. His name is love because He loved us. That's the, first. The, the, the verse just yes. um, uh, Scott, sister, Scott read, yeah. Scott read, yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. So yeah, it has been amazing a live so, stream, Master, and yes. uh, it's been wonderful. And uh, we, we give have time. we have someone, a uh, proud Sonata. Welcome to Somali Christian TV. We do not give chance to talk. talk. Now you can now you can uh, say your comment or your question around the topic or, or in the topic, please stay on the topic. Proud, if you can unmute yourself. Hello, hi. 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 Okay, so. It, it was a good question that why am I... Come too close to the microphone, brother. You are far away. It was just a good question that Allah, why Allah hates black people. So first of all, thank you for letting me. Uh, I can uh -huh. just answer within a few seconds. Uh, basically, if you have read any hadith or any history, so you must have read they just, they are just sexually obsessed. 
all the Muslims and all the prophets, all the muftis, mullahs, everyone is sexually august. They like, they like just, you can understand, you can understand what I'm, I'm trying to say. So they, they are just stupid. They, they spread Islam by fighting and the killing innocent peoples. Mm. They are just spreading Islam uh, on the basis of lies. That's it. This is yeah. the best part. Everyone knows about it. Uh, everyone knows about it, but they are not just facing the point. Uh, as IKEA said that they will, they are loving uh, their Muslim friends also. But my dear IKEA, they they don't love you. They just want to kill you whenever they want, when, whenever they will get a chance. So believe me, don't love them, and don't mm. just blindly love them. It's it will be uh, very helpful for you and for your neighbors. <coughs> Okay, uh, Akaya, when, uh, do you want to... Uh, Brad, Brad we, we, we can just uh, uh, yeah, give a comment about that. Uh, uh, anyone can Akaya. give comment. But rather, we have to love the, love the Muslims and even our enemies. That's what our God said. And we're following his command. His command is to love one another and even love to our enemies. Because Christ mm -hmm. is all about love. Uh, Christianity uh, is all can, about love. I can understand your feelings, but uh, do you know... Uh, what do you believe before, yourself? Brought Salat yeah, in Natali. What, what do you believe? Um, you can read my name. What is huh? what is in it? What is in it? I what is your religion? Hindu. Are you Hindu? Hindu? Uh, yes. Oh, you believe in Hindu religion? I hate every, I I hate Muslims and Islam. I love every no. religion. So we, we love we love the Muslims, brother, but we don't we don't agree. We don't love they, their book, they, they but we love them. them. I know they don't love even my own family disown me. Even my family said they said if they see me they will kill me. I don't um, I don't have a relationship with my own family. Seventeen yeah. years. Listen, yeah, listen, 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 brother. Seventeen yes. years I did not see my family, my own my own mom whom I love so much. They said if they see they will kill me because I left Islam. Just leave in Islam. But still I love them, pray for them, and believe in God can save. As just the way he saved me. Because our God is a loving God, brother. We cannot hate anyone. Even our enemy, we have to love. And it is the Holy Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit, can change your heart. And even you, brought, we call it to you to come to the real God who created you. Who, who, give you, who can give you peace in your heart. Uh, and give you says, love even. Uh, so you can love even. Can, even you can love me? even Muslims. Can you show me? Okay, yeah. I, I think what I'd like, sorry, what I'd like to say is Can you show this. me what is that? What, what I'd like to say is this. There is yeah. no one here free from sin. No one yeah. in this room is free from sin. And this is why Jesus said, the best prayer is the Lord's prayer. Our Father who is art in heaven. We have to be asked for forgiveness for our own trespasses as yeah. we forgive others who trespass against us us okay and if you do not have forgiveness then you do not have the understanding of what yeah. love is because we all fall short and the reason why i love my muslim brothers and sisters yeah. is because i know that the enemy of god is using islam to hold them in bondage now i have every right to stand up and give a righteous rebuke because i will give a righteous rebuke but my righteous rebuke will not come from the flesh my righteous rebuke will be will come from using the word of god because mm. it's the authority in which i stand on and if i am using the word of god as a righteous rebuke out of love okay then that shows me that I have love in my heart, but it doesn't make me bigger or better than anybody else because I am not free from sin. And this is why Jesus came, if you understand the purpose of that. And so for me, I have no problem with loving my Muslim brothers and sisters, but what I will do is give righteous rebuke and the righteous rebuke will be using the word of God. And yes. that's just as simple as it's simple. That's, it's just as simple as that. And that's what it says.
go out and spread the good news. And we go yeah. out and we spread the good news. Yeah. And we yeah. come up against people who do not want to hear that. But that's fine because we know what the instruction is. If we've given the good news and nobody wants to be receptive of it, shake the dust off of your feet. You've sown the seed and move okay. on. So yeah, brother, and uh, if you can read this verse for us, it will be good, brother. Um, Scott. Scott, please. Uh, I don't in front of us. Can you see? Oh, you know what? You know what? I, I, I was just about to read that verse. Um, I was going to read it to proud uh, sound of time. Um, it says, we have heard that the dead. We cannot hear you, brother. You're breaking. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It says, you have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Yeah. But I will tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be the sons of your father in heaven. Yeah. He causes the his, his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you yeah. love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not the tax? I'm sorry. Are not the are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even the pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Amen. Amen. So, Thank you so, so much. So we we don't have the we we are we are free of sin. We uh, Jesus said that. He sets the captives free. So we are no longer enslaved to our sin. But we do have sin. It says in First John, if any man says that he doesn't have any sin, he's a liar. So we are set free. And that's what we want for Jesus to do for the Muslims. We want him to set the captives free. Because right now, if you were to die, you have no atonement for your sins. Yeah. You have, amen, amen, you, you, amen, you, you, amen. You know, amen. so we want you to come to God and we, it, it's a process for Christians. You know, none of us have perfect love, no. but we're striving to have perfect love because perfect love casts out fear. Amen. So as we grow, we progress, we go from glory to glory. We learn more and more and when you learn that, and, and what we're trying to tell black people today is that God is not your enemy. God did nope. not create you uh, wrong. He didn't, he didn't mess up when he created you. He loves you. And anybody that tells you that is a liar. Right. So we want you to focus on the truth. And Jesus Christ is the truth. Now, yeah. the, the Somali brother said, well, you know, anybody that uh, refers to people as black and, and, and things of that sort is unknowledgeable. And, and she, you know, you pointed out that Hadith describe us as black and even the Holy Bible, Phineas in the Old Testament, the, the third, uh, the, the third high priest of Israel, his name yeah. is black. Yeah. So God has no problem with black people and he uses black people and mm -hmm. just like the sister said philip did his ministry and the you, you know what it says about the ethiopian eunuch the ethiopian eunuch was in israel to celebrate a jewish festival yes hallelujah so it wasn't yeah. like he was some pagan or he was high up and he was coming uh, he knew the scripture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was coming to the festival. And when mm. he was driving a rope, he, he was driving away, the Lord instructed Philip to go up to him. And he yeah. went up to him, you know, and he said, What are you reading? And he had a scroll of Isaiah. So the guy was powerful because you had to have money to be able to afford like a scroll. We we know yeah. they didn't have printing presses back then. So you had to mm -hmm. have somebody write the scroll out. Yeah. And he explained the scroll to him and he converted. And like the sister said, you know, the faith was born in uh, Africa from that from from that point on. God had intention for the gospel to go to Africa and prosper Amen. in Africa. So God Amen. is not against you. So Amen. anybody that like like the, the, the guy, no one, he said, 
you know, black or white people will be termed black. Black is not a curse. You mm -hmm. you are made with pigment in your skin for a reason. Yeah. Yes. So so don't ever believe that. Um, don't ever feel like uh, I, I think the sister was saying this, and when, when she was talking about like you know uh, the the sins and 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 being uh, free from sin. Um, don't let a sinful religion hold you. If you yeah. feel the Holy Spirit touching your heart, you know, open up and let Jesus dine with you. Amen. This Amen. is the best thing that you can ever do. And, and God yeah. created everybody. And if you, if you cool, ever yeah. feel like somebody is putting you against another man, even in the Old Testament, when, when, when God had judgment on people, he had judgment on people. But he told the Jews, he said, don't treat these people bad because remember, you were slaves in Israel yeah, or, or you were slaves in Egypt before. So you know what it's like to be a slave. So, so treat people, the, the golden rule started in the old Testament, do unto yeah. others as, mm -hmm. as you want done unto thee. See, True. God is love and, and, and God is, a, is, you know, that Jesus is called the Prince of Peace. Yeah. And, Amen. You know, the father is the King of Peace. So, God brings peace. He doesn't bring confusion. He doesn't bring all of this drama. The people mm. that bring the drama are the people that are of Satan. Yeah, I just want to say thank you so much, Phil210, for the super chat. My God bless you. He mm. said, God bless you, Somali Christian TV. Guys, we we just so happy to share with you this, you know, because some of the Somali people, some of black people, they don't even know what it says, the Quran and the Hadith. So we're so glad we take this. Though it's, it's so painful when we're reading and seeing that our people being looked down and being enslaved and called names. But for in front of God, we're all the same. God said that there's no Jewish, no Gentile, no black, no white. We're all the same. And God loves everybody. It doesn't matter what color you, you have in your skin. God loves you. And we love you. We're here as a family of God sharing with you the love of God, the love of Christ, what he has done for you and how he's calling you to his heaven. So if you are Somali, if you are black, if you are Muslim, please do yourself a favor, come out from that because we also come out. Leave Islam and come to Christ because there is only one person can save you. That person is Jesus Christ. There's no other name to be saved. Muhammad cannot save you. Allah cannot save you. I don't think even other Muslims even uh, need to be Muslims. No, no, no Muslims mm. need to stay there, cult. Yeah. When they know the truth, they have to come out. Yeah. But especially black people we, today, because we are focusing for the black people. But if you are white, if you are Asian, or if you are black, we love you so much. Unconditional love, because God is a loving God. And God loves you so much. Yeah. Yeah. So so wonderful. Uh, I thank you, uh, thank you, Shania, uh, and uh, thank you, um, Scott. You made a wonderful summary, and uh, I have to thank Akaya as well. Uh, who have been with us uh, today and uh, yeah, made wonderful you. comments and wonderful, um, uh, you know, it, it was wonderful insight and a testimony as well. And uh, Brown, we thank you as well, and everyone else who is watching and uh, uh, people in viewers. the chat. We yeah. love you, all of you. We are family, family of God, and uh, you know, Somali Christian TV family. We love you, all of you. Um, uh, you know, in conclusion, and uh, you know, rubbing up, we rubbed up already. But well, I would love uh, Sister Akaya to pray for uh, you know, um, uh, to close, close it down, yeah, please, yeah. if you can. But uh, if you uh, and yeah, before you close down, is there anything you want to say to the uh, bro brother Scott Oops. or any comment? Just to co just co we're closing down now. Well, I just want to say, I love you guys, I love we the love Muslims. You. Please pray for. Safraz, uh, please pray for the Somalian. Uh, Mr. Is his name Mr. Muhammad? Um, I, I'm sorry if I offended you, Mr. Muhammad. I didn't mean to offend you. Um, you said that I talked about your country, and I, I don't want to say anything false about your country. So, um, and you guys can feel free to reach out. But I love you. Hear us? I think yeah. our camera died. I think you guys uh, who can hear us in the in the chat, uh, can you hear yeah. us? Scott, can you hear us? Yes. I think our camera died. 
so, so please just conclude with prayer so we shut down someone has okay. to conclude with prayer no one can see us so quick okay. prayer well father we thank you uh for bringing us together um we pray that uh this teaching edifies one another um we pray that if we've said anything wrong in your name that you forgive us um and we pray that you uh forgive uh any uh, malice that we may have in our heart and forgive any malice that the Muslims have in their heart. Uh, we pray for uh, uh, proud Sanatani. We pray that he comes to you and, and recognizes that you are the creator of all people and that you don't give us the right to hate one another, even though bad things happen. Uh, vengeance is, is yours, Lord. So we pray um, that we won't go out teasing the muslims um but we will go out loving the muslims and we will pray for their salvation uh pray earnestly and we pray um that you will protect our uh christian brothers and sisters all over the world um especially the ones in africa that are being persecuted uh we give you praise glory and honor in jesus name amen, amen. 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 Thank you, Scott. Can, yeah, thank you, brother Scott. No one can, I don't think the people can hear us. Maybe they can hear you. Just say thank you and God bless you. Thank you, sister, as well. God bless you. I think our All camera right. died. God, God bless you. So and no you, one can uh, hear. I, I just like to close and just say, oh, Heavenly yes. Father, we come before you, before the throne, in mm. the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are worthy to be praised. Right. Yes. Let the heavens and the earth come together and bear witness for today's ministry. Yeah. We thank you, Lord, for another day, and it's by grace that we have been given this day. Um, we yes, ask yes. for a pouring of the Holy Spirit to touch this ministry, to touch the prophet from the, his top of his head to the crown of his feet. Mm. No weapon formed against this ministry shall ever prosper. Because the word of God goes out never to be returned back empty. Mm. For those who are seeking the truth, we come to you, O Heavenly Father, that you will reveal to them today, this moment, the love of Jesus Christ in their life. Mm. Forgive us, Lord, for our own transgressions and our Absolutely. own sins. Build us up, Lord, so that we are able to go forward and spread the good news in all corners, that we are able to touch our Muslim brothers and sisters mm -hmm. with truth and understanding and love. Oh, Let yes. this ministry flourish in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, and man. for everybody who is here on this live today, Jesus. I ask that you join me in prayer, mm. that you pull down the anointing from the heavens, that this room will be filled with love, yes. and Amen. that we will go forward as from this day with mm. love in our hearts towards our Muslim brothers and sisters, and let the will of our Father be done in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Guys, we love you so much. I think someone said on the chat, we can hear you. I'm so glad you can hear us. It is the end anyway, and the battery die. We don't want to change. God Thank bless you. Very much. you God too. bless you all. God bless you all. See you soon. See in you Jesus soon. Mighty name. Thank you, sister. Thank you, brother. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, we God love you. you. Bye -bye. God bless you. Bye bye. Mwah.